Hello and welcome back, everyone. Hello and welcome back. How's it going, Dalka? How's it going, Balnor? How are you guys doing today? Let's jump right back on in. We've got things to do. I stashed our loot. I even went and grabbed a little extra wood and whatnot. And we're not raided. Amazing. Thank goodness. I hit a lot of stuff. And pretty much only the things that were in this chest, to be honest. <laughs> so what's left in here is wood that I picked up right before uh, jumping off. Uh, and I went and got a little more iron rolling in one of these. There it is. And one other somewhere. There it is. Bam. A little more iron. Got some more steel fire going as well. Got some more brick going. So we need to go ahead and get these furnaces pumping first and foremost. We need to get more branches, apparently. We're running real low on those. But we're going to need to get this steel moving real quick here. We've got a bunch of steel now. We've got a bunch of tar. So I did one quick production run cycle of things. But we need to... Oh my goodness, we just don't... We don't have enough iron. Actually, no, I've got two... We have two stacks of iron hidden. We have two hidden stacks of iron, so we'll be fine. Let's go steal these... Why am I taking branches? We've got a bunch of wood. We don't need that much sheep wood right now. We can go ahead and just start using this actual wood to... to get us rolling here. Let's get this... running. Didn't see that many people on. There's not many people on today. We got Apneas on. Uh, we've got... A sh uh, Ashra and Aton, who came by and said hi yesterday. Uh, Elmo, if I remember correctly, is like not super aggressive, but is part of Free Lessons, who is. I know they were talking a bunch. This guy's the guy who raided us, our tiny shack. We'll have to keep an eye out for him, but everyone else, don't have to worry about. How's it going, Dire Bunny? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing well over here. Um, we're, we're not drowned. <laughs> It's been a lot of rain in California. We've we've not drowned over here, so I am I'm a okay. Uh, I've got I've got uh, friends and family that do not have power right now because of all the all the rain that we're getting on and off throughout the week, but I'm doing all right. All right, so we need to go and just grab an absolute pile of iron. Stone and wood. Well, not really so much. Well, yeah, we need the wood. We need the wood. We need iron, stone, and wood, and just absolute piles of it. More steel fire and some more iron in here. Why are you not running? Did I not hit go? Oh, you still had some... Build some power branches in it. I see. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get ourselves even more wood, and then we'll go do an iron run. Do we do an iron run first or wood run first? Let's do an iron run first. I'll go and grab our stashed loot a little later. Not really until we need it. I don't want to go and grab that stashed loot until ideally an hour and 50 minutes from right now when the raid window ends. Just so we don't lose the steel that we've made, the bricks that we have. You know, just, just so if they come by and they grab it, we lose some steel fire, we lose some iron, lose some stone. But we'll see. Ideally today we get to doing some big old building. I'm hoping we can get to the point where we can get some big old building going. Actually, I, I need I need all of the... Oh, wrong button. There we go. Now we got the light. Right. I need all of the hides that they're willing to give me. So we, we're going to need to get ourselves upgraded to hardened steel at some point here. We do have the five... Demon blood that we picked up yesterday, so we should also run to go and try and get some star metal tools soon, too. Star metal would be really, really nice. That'd be great. Doing pretty good. Going through a bunch of Patreon maps. Oh, nice. I'll, I'll read more of your comments in a moment here. Yeah, we're playing more Conan. We're playing Conan this whole week, Fuzzy Wuzzy. Maybe more next week. But at least all this week. At the very least, all this week. Because I want to make up, uh, I want to catch up from when I was sick and out of town. We've got the entire Purge thing I want to play with. we got to get it going. Oh, but yeah, so a bunch of Patreon maps from your last adventure, so you don't have to prep as much for upcoming weeks. This is good. Nice. It all comes down to prioritizing. you got to make sure that you, you can spend your time where you need it. Especially with how many games that you run. Oh my goodness. One of your players is in California. He got sent home early from work because they were worried about the road. Oh, uh, yeah, the work road washing out. Yeah, that's there's just a lot of water. This state's really funny. 
in that we don't get a lot of water. But when we do get water, we get too much water. <laughs> we get the extremes over here. We were in a drought for five years in which, like, every single person had to, like, reduce their, their personal water consumption by, like, 50%. And then, you know, same things for, like, businesses, farms had to, like, there were there were actual farms that were just not growing any food because it wasn't worth the cost of the water, right? And then we get a whole bunch of rain, and then there's too much water, and all our reservoirs are full, <laughs> and then we're just, like, throwing it all in the ocean because we just, we can't store it. And now we're good to go. We don't have, there's no drought uh, so far this year, except for, like, the Mojave Desert, of course, as the a little bit of dry this year and then we get this storm and now everyone's like we're drowning <laughs> what are we supposed to do with all of this water it is it's pretty funny um but you know luckily there's a bunch of infrastructure plans that are starting to crop up to go and sort this out going in forward in the future we'll see a new base location did you get rated um same base location yes we got rated <laughs> Same base location as earlier. Um, we just we, we moved our base a little bit. We built our little uh, little tier one shack over just so we have some big space. But the the big construction is the same and took no damage from the raid, which I'm very happy about. Which it would have been an absolute waste of materials for him to go break that down anyway, because of how many foundations we had lying around. If someone wanted to take over that space, it would have just been very very um, costly to do so. Doesn't, wouldn't really make sense. Do we want to... I kind of want to explore a little bit. Let's just go take a look at the quick eastern barracks here. See if someone's moved in. Or if someone is still there. Or if someone got bombed out. Because there was someone that was bombed out last time we, we checked. But that was three weeks ago. So who knows what's going on now. Take a look. You're about to say Las Vegas was tripping over the water situation. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Las Vegas has even more of an issue with that. Because the the issue with so the issue with Las Vegas is that due to the type of like soil they have, the ground doesn't really absorb the water that much when it comes to like the first rain. All of it just gets rushed off the surface, the surface tension, and so they get flash floods like nobody's business. And so it's very dangerous when just a uh, sudden huge downpour of rain. But someone has moved in here, and this is different. Isha. Hmm. I haven't seen them. Also, I totally did not bring my my hammer with me. I can't tell how long they've been here and if they've been raided. But it looks like Bishaw has taken over this space. They're using the new dungeon set. It looks really good with being built into the eastern barracks. It looks really good. It blends in very well. I like it. It's really nice. But over here in California, like, it actually would be really nice if we could get more water and, like, seeped into the ground into our aquifers. There's a couple, I'm trying to remember, there are a couple of towns in California that are a hundred and something feet lower than they were at their founding. Because of how much groundwater they pulled out of, <laughs> they've, they've depleted, like, a hundred feet worth of elevation of groundwater, which, that's, that's a lot when you think about the water being compressed under the earth and how much you're pulling out. Kind of nuts. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice if we could replenish some of that water. And California is, does, doesn't really have the best history with water management. <laughs> hey, Sarah, hello and welcome. Thank you for the raid. What were you playing today? Welcome, raiders. What were you playing? Hydrate, you got it. Jump across the street over. Actually, we don't need to. We can go ahead and run across this bridge. This man so kindly made for us. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. We only have building materials. We don't have some stringy, stringy meats. We don't have anything to actually, you know, uh, do adventuring, proper adventuring with. No. Give me the iron. Let me go pick up more stone, too. And we definitely need more wood so we can get more burning. We need, we need to do some more burning. That's all this. I can't check how long he's been offline. I'd rather go and mine near home as opposed to over here, just in case I have to run inside. I'm trying to remember if there's any other iron nearby. I feel like the answer is no. 
I think the answer is new. Someone was literally going out to Lake Mead to check the water levels and the intake pipes for Vegas because some of the pipes some of the pipes have above wait, we're above the water level? Oh yeah, because the water level is so low in Lake Mead. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. It's to the point where they they actually can't suck the water out. This is not in far enough. Yeah. You're playing Command and Conquer 2? Oh nice! I have never played it, but I've got some friends that really love that game. They swear by it. They've yet to get me to play it. But it's, uh, I've, I've heard great things. I'm doing well. My voice is doing even better. We're, we're getting there. Hopefully day by day I'll be able to... You know, really get into it. I still can't go too crazy. I still... We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to do a quick check and see how I'm feeling in like two hours here. Make sure I'm not straining myself too much. So far so good. You wouldn't say it's aged well? But it hasn't aged too bad, you suppose? That's one of those things. I mean, how old is that game now? That game is pretty old at this point. Yeah, it's all about staying hydrated. Exactly right. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta take pauses. I mean, I've got a... I've got a... A habit? Habit? Question mark? Of talking a lot during streams. <laughs> Constantly talking. I've got a bad question mark habit. <laughs> I don't know if it's bad or good. Um, I, I think it's... Oh, perfect. I can give us a bunch of hide here. I think it's a good habit, but uh, when, when six, not the best. Somehow I hit him at that range. I don't know how that works. Oh my goodness, I thought that other one was already dead. You guys keep fighting over there. You fight the monstrosity. Leave me alone. I don't need experience from them. I just need their... I need their dead bodies. Perfect. We definitely need ourselves a steel skinning knife so we can get a little more. Definitely need it. Oh my goodness, hello and welcome, Raiders. Hello and welcome, Darkstream Phantom. How are you doing today? Phantom, what were you playing? What were you playing? Hopefully everyone's doing great today. What tea tonight? I was smarter this time, Fuzzy Wuzzy, and I made myself some jasmine tea. So I've got jasmine tea, I've got my I've got my honey stick here. I haven't unwrapped it though. But at some point, I'll go ahead and unwrap my honey stick, and I'll have some honey, honey stirred jasmine tea. It's a honey spoon, actually, on a stick. It's you know like a a mold of honey in the shape of a like a general spoon shape, more like a paddle, honestly. Not much. You can't you can't eat soup with it. More like a paddle. Play some Ark. Nice. I have still yet to play any Ark, but I do know it's in the same vein as this game. Which is good enough for me. How far are you in that game? Because I know that game gets like crazy with like how technologically advanced you can get in it. Like you can get up to like guns and like hologram displays and, and stuff. Are you like in the early game, mid game, late game? And are you playing on a server or solo? We need more horns. Give me your horn. Bit of a bummer that on a PvP server, which is four times harvest rate, mind you, we only get one horn per antelope. Which you would expect we would get two horns per antelope by default, right? <laughs> That's a little... Alright. Now it's a, it's a lot. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's get the brick rolling first. Let's get the... Oh, that's right. I'm gonna need... More burnable materials. We're running out of flammable things. Yeah, we need we need significantly more flammable stuff. Luckily, we have some lying around in here for us. So we're just going to take all this out. We'll just use this wood for now. Branches can be used, but we're like out of branches. <laughs> so I can't can't rely on branches. That one still has branches. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Let's change let's change it to where branches are only gonna be used for bricks. And then we'll use wood for, for all the others. Eh? Just to make it clear. We have a good inventory divide. Upgrade this king. Yes! We do first. We got some steel, we got some steel. Perfect. Wait, no, that's right. This is not our well. Let's go ahead and get some steel reinforcements going. We do need those. Grab this one here. 
I only need 22. That's hardened steel, which we need to go get that sorted at some point. Here we go. Steel. Hold on, let me text back the friend of mine who's got no internet. Make sure no internet, no lights. Make sure they're doing okay here real quick. As I've mentioned before, it's a tough one. Luckily, it's it's California winter. Ooh, it's 50 degrees outside. <laughs> In the middle of winter. Ooh, it's cold. Hold on. Real quick. All right. Unless <laughs> you want, <laughs> you want, you want some Cali winter. That's what I'm talking about. Like whenever I'm talking to people here, they're like, "Oh man, it's so cold today." I'm like, "Have you looked at a weather map any time recently?" California <laughs> doesn't really get winter. Like we we cannot complain when you, when we get winter here. Oh no, it's so cold. I can't I can't run around wearing a. Uh, you know, shorts and short sleeves today. Whoa, life's so hard. All right, let me get take that back. Oh no, not some Iowa winter. Oh no, oh no. Hard pass. Thank you very much. You can keep that way over there. <laughs> you can you can keep that to yourself. Oh, actually, I'm gonna keep this for right now. I'm gonna go make it. See if we can make ourselves a hat. We need to go make. I'm right now wearing earrings, which work, but I would like to wear the hat. We can. Right, let's get all that tar going. Oh, okay, we had a decent amount in here. Oh, we, we, we have the seven horns we needed. What am I talking about? I would pick that up uh, while we were offline. Oh, no, not this one. That one. Seven horns. Bam. I picked them up while everyone was offline, while I was doing a, a quick little check. Go ahead and just grab these, grab this. What about those earrings? We'll actually keep the earrings. I do like the black hand earrings. They're pretty good. We might put them on a dancer. All right. Uh, we... Oh, we don't have a dismantling bench. I was going to go and dismantle... No, yeah, we do. What am I talking about? Yeah, we do. All that. Perfect. Iowa winter equals three layers plus ski pants, heated coat... Hot hands in your <laughs> in your boots and gloves, and you're still freezing. Yep, that sounds about right. That sounds about what I expected to to hear. All right, so do we have any like stockpiles of tar? No, oh yeah, like um, I think I had stashed it all, honestly. I, think I stashed all of it. Okay, do we have a tinker bench? We did. Oh, yeah. come on now. Alright, so we need a weapon advanced tool, which we need steel for, because we don't have hardened steel. So let's get some steel. You out? Yep, you're out of iron. That's enough steel for two of them. We need two of these uh, advanced weapon bits. There it is. Regular weapon kits, not the advanced ones. Don't have what we need for that. It was colder in Des Moines than it was in Anchorage, Alaska. What? Oh no, that's right. That's because of the um. It's because of the the lake effect, right? It's the, it's like where it just sucks cold air in from the north, and the wind chill is ridiculous. Right? Am I right on that one? Yeah. Okay. That's just insane. Some scary thoughts. How cold it gets up there. Alright. We got some full-blown steel production going. Now we are talking. Now we're cooking with wood. What? Don't do that. Left click before I got in the inventory. Don't don't do that. And now now we're cooking with fire. Yeah, as we get the steel reinforcements rolling here. We can start thinking about going forward and 
Give me all that. Uh, going forward and grabbing ourselves a little bit of building. What we're going to do is we're going to swap this on over. We're going to have you continue to produce. We'll have you continue to produce as well, once we get some spare tar, of course. And this guy here is going to go and give us stone consolidate. We're going to start getting our stone... Nope, not that. Our stone sorted here. There's still some stone consolidate. So we're going to need to grab fiber. We need to grab resin, if you have like just a ridiculous amount of resin in here. Resin is really going to be used more for this, because we're not really going to do anything else with insulated wood, to be honest. You know, we just kind of... Kind of all we needed. We're, we're kind of done with that. Uh, was there any... I don't think this... I don't think that was... Here, I'll take these. I don't think that. All right. Good enough. I think it's not your job. You're doing regular ones. So we'll drop you in here. Perfect. You hate, you hate winter and you 100% thought about Alaska. Thought about going to Alaska. Retreat from the cold and quickly run to Alaska. The safe haven. <laughs> It's so counterintuitive. It's funny. All right, get this bad boy rolling. Go. Let's get you some more branches, more stone. Start grabbing brick, brick. You don't work with this anymore. You're now in charge of building a. Oh, actually, we need more stone, like urgently. Go ahead and let's cut this stone in half. That there. You're in charge of making ourselves some big old heavy stone. Some reinforced stone. So once we get this reinforced stone rolling, we can start brick by brick building up our base. So this is good. Go time. Um, I need to get more iron. This isn't enough iron production currently. We'll leave the wood in here for now. What do we need to make the upgraded versions of the... Furnace smelting? Is it just brick and iron? That would make them go faster. We upgrade everything to tier 2s. Would speed us up quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hundred iron. That's not too hard. We've got two K sitting in our hidden chest. Yeah, let's go and focus on getting some rocks right now. To get that rolling. And then maybe we go and we grab it. Again, I kinda wanna wait until a little later in the stream today. You can see what we're working on. So this is our build over here. Again, we got cut a little short because of being raided and not playing for two weeks. But, and you can see these guys are the ones that raided us and they got raided. Wait a minute, there you go. There's They're, they're loading in. We might blow those up later. I don't really know if I want to blow those up. They're just, it's, I think, 15 explosives per. I'm not too sure. But yeah, see, this is, this is what we were working on here. So we're working on a fortification here. So we're going to build a tower up there. Castle over here where we have our treasury currently at, a tower up here, and then kind of build up on the ramparts. Um, how's it going, Cersei? No, we did not get raided from yesterday. We're st our square base is still good to go. And I'm doing well. I'm doing better than yesterday. Better day by day. But yeah, so the thing is we need to go ahead and get more tier 3, because we started our build with tier 3. We're going to finish our build with tier 3. We're not going not gonna to cut it short. So, just need, to, just need to start building out the reinforced brick, which is most timely, I believe, of them all. It takes the longest to kind of get up and running. Actually, let's go back and get this repaired real quick. Let's upgrade these steel harvesting tools. We can harvest a little bit more efficiently. But at some point, we need to go and run and do a star metal run. Like, we, we really need to do a star metal run. If we can get to star metal, that would really cut down on the amount of time it takes for us to harvest everything, which would be amazing. Alright. Let's go ahead and repair you. Oh, no. Well, I will take this, though. Might as well. It's still raid window. Let's not leave that out in the open. Let's at least put it in a place they have to put a bomb down for. Right? Make them have to at least work for it. Alright. Upgrade. And then once it's fully repaired, upgrade. There you go. You can harvest a little bit more out of it. It's got 
they uh, they're weaker, they shatter faster, but more efficient. Less swings to get stuff done. We're gonna keep rolling on the steel reinforcements though. We don't need a lot of just steel lying around. We could do a run and just get hardened steel instead and just rely on that. We could just do that. That would be an option. That would still be an improvement from what we're doing right now. But then we would have to have a pick and an axe. Whereas if we can go straight to star metal, then we can just get a star metal pickaxe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll grab some more wood too. We'll just fill up that chest with burnables. Especially since we don't have any easy coal nearby. I mean, there is some, it's just two squares away. Which we can go do once we make sure all of our crafting stations are running at full speed. We should probably get some more shaped wood going, honestly. We already have, like, 2k, but it doesn't hurt to get more. We'll need it for upgraded benches. We'll need it for building the reinforced brick. We might as well go and work on that as well. We gotta get this we gotta get this castle going. I want to to by the end of today, I want us to be doing a uh, a purge attempt. It'll be just a tier one purge. We're not gonna do anything too crazy or fancy unless we can get some thralls in here, which I'm not gonna spend too much time on thralls right now. But I'd like to do at least a tier one purge. Just to make sure that everything is working as it should. Right? We're not we're not having any issues. We still have the gold that we need for it. No one touched our treasury, surprisingly. Hello? There's another one hidden in there. Um, so I want to do that, and I want to get some more building done. So if we can get building, and kind of, like, finalize where we're going to go ahead and have our treasury at, because it's going to need to get moved a little bit from where it is right now. Not by much, but just a little. It needs to be built into the structure. Right now it's uh, not built into the walls. Into the same floor plan. So we'll go ahead and do that. Are you going to raid anyone? No, we're not We're not in a position to raid anyone. I want us to just focus on building today. Maybe we could do that tomorrow, but we just don't... We don't have the demon blood required. If we can find a demon creature, uh, a demonic... I don't know. Uh, we run across, like, a demonic... The reason I thought that was a sandstone building is just a rock. Uh, if we find, like, a demonic shaleback, or if we run into... You know... Anything else we can grab, demonic crocodile or something, and pick up a whole bunch of demon blood, then we can. But right now we only have five demon blood that we farmed from the snakes. And realistically, if we're going to go raid anyone, it'd be good to have the capacity to build 30 bombs, at least. We could farm that. You know, it's not, it's not that hard to farm that. We could farm it. But I'd rather spend our time focusing on building up our base, so we can go ahead and do the purges. That's the big thing. I want to be playing with the purge, and I want to be playing with the uh, the tavern system. And since we're going to be building predominantly a purge-resistant base, not a person-resistant base, what I'm thinking of doing is we'll just leave our doors open so no one will raid our base. So we, we don't have to rebuild once we build. Build it once, then we're good to go. Then eventually, if we feel like trying to make it a anti, uh, an anti-player character, Base. We can do that. Uh, it wouldn't be too hard. We essentially just have to build anti-climb up the walls, which just requires a lot of material, but it can be done. And once we do that, then no one will be able to get in. Right now, people can just climb in. But we just do that. Once we, once we get that rolling, then no one can get in, and then we'll have to bomb in. But I want us to at least have gotten the bar set up and whatnot before we end up dealing with that. Yeah. As a rock collection, it's pretty good. We're already at uh, 13,000 stone. Remember, it's uh, one, it's 10 stone per brick. 10 stone per brick. And our goal here is to make it so that these furnaces just run, essentially, forever. Goal. Did you get yourself a spear and get yourself some practice with it? It would be good to get more practice with the spear and the bow uh, in PvP. Although, I think I'd rather stick with, uh, maybe, like... Wait a second. Huh. Mm. 
This is new. Hold on, this is new. This is new, this is new. Hold on. There's even a a, a cooker, a, a cooking thrall here. Hold on. Was this just raided? What's the what's the decay time on this? This is so wild. Hi, lady. What are you? An exile tier two? Wait, you're an exile spawn. You're not even uh. Huh. Oh no, this was this place always here? Oh yeah, we should um pick that up real quick. Was this always here? I feel like it wasn't. Otherwise, we would have raided this. This would have been on our raiding, uh, our, our radar, Ra radar. <laughs> we would have thought about raiding this place. Sorcerer skull. Yeah, can't do anything with those. I swear. Oh my! There's stuff in here. Nothing all that useful. Oh, that's. We'll take that. Let's uh, finish assessing what's going on here first. Your two cook. Your one cook. A little courtyard. <laughs> this feels odd because it's. It, I feel like they're. Yeah, they don't have a tannery in here. They don't have a blacksmith in here. That just goes outside. What? Hmm. Was it server long tell you if uh, it was raided? Yeah. Yeah, the thing is the server long tells you if, uh, if you get raided and who steals from you. This wasn't like this when we were here before, but BFF does sound familiar. I think they were here before. Yeah, these are just NPCs. They're not not even thralls. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Oh my goodness, we're actually gonna we're gonna have some thirst issues in a second here. But if we go to event logs, for example, we go here. Uh, it's just lose dropping loot bags. Uh, but here you can see. They looted our, our wine that we dropped for them. It shows you when they take things that, from us, right? Uh, this is when Bubbles went and raided our base, or stole whatever was left over from raiding the base. Um, lots and lost stability, which means that we were being raided at this time. That's when Gore was attacking us. Which... Oh, they were online when I jumped on to thatch our loot, but they're not online now. But yeah, so if we take anything out of any of these, BFF will see that we stole from them. But I think that's fine. We're just going to go and clear out this base. I'm not taking the Sorcerer's Skull. It's completely worthless. I'm going to take all of their stuff. But that actually, this this is actually worth something. This hardened steel cleaver, like that's actually this is actually quite valuable. I had leather, and yeah, we could take that. We can just repair it. everything, take everything. We'll even take the two cooks. The two cooks are actually a really good boon. Actually, <laughs> got some gold. Nice. I'll take that. A little bit of stone. Perfect. <laughs> Very weird. <gasps> Roughly 11 to 12 maps chosen and decided. Nice. Yeah, so this is just up at, that, uh, up at the point here, which... Yeah, actually, we did. We had them marked on the map. Look at that. And we had them marked as a castle, not as a skull. So we weren't going to raid them. They weren't on our, our raid list. We weren't planning to go and break them down. So someone else must have raided them. I feel like they were in Tier 1 when we saw them. And that was Tier 2. So it's quite likely whoever raided us raided them. Interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, well let's run back to base. Let's unload all of this all the goodies that we picked up. Go from there. But now we can go get some really good meats whenever we need to with this hardened steel cleaver. 
Kind of nice. Oh, I'd really like to get some more lighting in here. More lighting would be nice. All right, so here's the benefit. Getting these cooks, huge. Getting these cooks is huge. Because you can use cooks on the th on the um, fireball cauldrons, and if you look at the speed at which this is going up, that little bar, you can see how it jumps forward. It reduces the amount of time required to cook them. So these two cooks are going to dramatically increase the speed at which we get stuff done. This is all burnable stuff. Oh my goodness, a bed! <laughs> Huge! Huge! We got a bed! Alright, where do we want to stick this sucker? Put him over here, why not? We don't currently have a bed. <laughs> <laughs> We've been using a bedroll. We've been relying on this bedroll over here. That's our only spawn point. If this broke, we'd have to spawn back down here at the broken highway and run back over. Massive. Big finds. I mean, we could make our own, but still, I think it's funny. Alright, let's go ahead and drop off some stuff here. Uh, we've got a host of stones. Let's get the stone out of our inventory first. That is the stuff we want to work on first. Here's your four. Four stanks. Get up and go. This one. Go on. You can you can run while I'm doing this, while I'm organizing. There we go. Stone. You keep working on that. Thirsty. Dying of thirst. Don't mind me. I'm just dying of thirst casually over here. We gotta get some water. Urgently. We don't have any berries or anything on us, do us. Yeah, we don't have any access to water stuff, so we gotta go grab some water. Okay. We should probably make a water skin. I know you guys mentioned that yesterday, we just haven't done that. Now your bedroll can be portable. True! We can actually now start sticking bedrolls down wherever we need them. Come here, you. Come on now. There we go. Hides. Quickly, to the water! Run! Oh my goodness. Big sneezes. Okay, so we're gonna run over here and we're gonna make stuff up. What's wrong? We're dying of thirst. You can see in the top left there it says thirsty. Uh, we are currently dying of thirst. We need to go get that hide so I can make myself a, a water skin, because this is becoming a bit of an issue. Okay, fill that up. Full on water. Perfect. Now we've got a full water skin. Sorted. I'm gonna head back. Just getting in the way of us getting work done. I do wanna. We'll set up a well. I'd rather do a fancy schmancy well, but. Actually, we could get started on a fancy schmancy well. We could start working on a, a shrine to Mitra. It wouldn't be too hard to do. Right? What's it cost? Religion, Mitra. Yeah, stone, wood, and then we just have to upgrade it once after that. Don't do it. I'm going to use your pelts. As literally as glue. I'm going to use your pelts as glue, buddy. I'm use it as tar. We'll make some steel fire and make some... Uh... Well, I guess technically we make nails out of it, don't we? Or rebar. We make steel rebar out of it. That's kind of how it looks at it. That's why your character lives on grubs and berry pulp. The pulp stacks to uh, 1,000. Regular water skin gives only uh, 10 drinks. It's true. Yeah, it's true. I just We're just going to make a small fountain and the life will be fine. When we're adventuring, there's always enough water in the exiled lands that we'll always be able to find what we need. Keep this going. Give me your hides. I require them. Come on now. 
Hey, buddy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, the, we hit him, but we weren't next to him. I, I, I don't... I don't understand. But you know what? We heard him. So, if it works, it works, yeah? I don't know. Right. Where are you? And down you go. Oh, you're not down? Down you go. Alright. Getting our hides. We'll do another iron run in a moment here. Uh, we'll go to the iron peninsula. We'll grab that. All oh, Rhino. I need your skin. Nothing personal. I'm just trying to build a really cool castle. I'm gonna need this. Little, little rabbit. Oh. My little rabbit. I'm just gonna skin you alive real quick here. Don't don't mind me, okay? Oh, I can't. Because <laughs> you do damage when you hit him with the knife. Trying to see if we could kill him and skin him at the same time. Nope. Nope, game won't let ya. Alright. Oh my goodness, I saw these two and I was not prepared to see them. They actually startled me. I thought there was someone in our base. Like, how'd you- How did you get in here? Get this extra iron. Okay. Miscellaneous chest. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and put you here. Where my water skin go? I just put it in. That there, because I don't really need those on hand. Let's go and dismantle what we can dismantle. I don't need the skello stuff, and I don't need the hyena stuff either, so we can go break that down. We can break that down. I'm gonna repair this. I don't have leather. That's fine. Now I do. Repair that. It's better than what we were using before. Oh, well, it has some raw ash in it. Nice. I'll take that. Is there anything else we want to break down over here? Yeah, that's totally worthless. Get rid of that immediately. Alright, cool. Get the hides out of that. Anything we can. Okay, so we actually need to get this working. Let's hurry up and grab the bone bones. Oh, put bones in here. There we go. Done. Put plant fiber in a grinder. We can do that next. Bone meal. There we go. Go ahead and get this sorted. Take the edible stuff out first and put the garbage stuff in here. Some more blood from... You. Meat. Meat. Okay, so start making some compost. We're not really going to do much with it right now, but that's fine. We're not going to cook this at the moment. We're just going to let it sit. Are you on an island? No, no, no. We're on the far south of the map. We're we're on we're on the like the big old continent piece. It would be cool being on an island. Well, we've done an island before. We've done the whole island thing before. A few off in here. You off in here for the thick stuff. It's best just standing on top of these because we can just walk across it because we have them nice and close together. Um, here's some more regular hide for you. More pelt for you. Oh, you're still working on this. Grab some of that. Pass it off. Oh, you're still working on pelt. Perfect. Well, then we'll leave that with you. Alright, let's go take all this tar. Look at how fast we're making this tar now that we've got a whole bunch of these. Jeez. Incredible. Okay, so you're the main one that we want us to be working on this for steel fire production, so you get a full stack. No? Good. You get the leftovers, which is, is not much. But we'll, we'll just slowly feed you over time, that's fine. Take a stack of stone consolidate. Drop that bad boy right in here. 
start firing up our hardened bricks. All right. Hardened brick on its way. Once we get a bit of hardened brick, we'll be able to start building. Patch today added the thrall slot to the campfire at the roast uh, roast pig. I did see there was an update today. Um, I didn't take a look at the patch notes because I was like rushing. But okay, so now we can actually put a thrall on there. I never tried. But it's good to know that we can now. <laughs> that it didn't work before. Um, yeah, we'll put this resin on. Don't need any of this resin in here. Literally all this resin we're just gonna dump in. We're gonna actually start. Uh, what can we? Can we, we? We can squish resin, right? What else can we use resin for? No, we can't squish resin. What, what can we use resin for? We're going to have too much resin. We're going to have way too much resin. I don't know what to do with it. Usually we're making stuff out of insulated wood, so we actually use all of our resin and don't have enough. Because we... I guess we can make resin wine, right? Isn't there like a resin wine we can make? I don't know what we do. Resin wine and stone consolidate. Yeah, I guess we're just going to be making resin wine, yeah? I don't know what else we do with it. We've got smelted iron siege boulders, which are totally worthless to us. We'll just stash them in here for now. Go ahead and get you to get more fiber. Just so we don't have to run around and grab fiber. It's nice, because we get vines when we're cutting down the small trees. And each one of these vines gives us three plant fiber. So, ideally, we don't ever have to go and get a sickle and start harvesting the old-fashioned way. Ideally. Seeds. We don't have no need for tusks. No need for fangs. Uh, we've got branches, which go with these guys down here. Yeah, I guess we can do resin wine. I don't think we have the knowledge for resin wine yet. We're going to have to go find that, aren't we? Wines give horses a plus 14% chance to gain vitality. That's pretty cool. We don't really use horses, though. I'm not a huge fan of horses, to be honest. I'm a huge fan of using them. Ash. We'll just kind of dump this in here. For now, we kind of need a toolbox, don't we? I don't need a toolbox. Oh my goodness, do we have like new? No. We've got like none. Okay, let's just turn these 40 over. We need a toolbox. You may need a tier 4 thrall at the brewing stand to unlock resin wine. Hmm, maybe. I think it's a cook, not an alchemist. It might be either or. You might be right. Oh yeah, resin dies. We could do that too. Uh, we'll have our toolbox be like right here, right by the door. Leave you in here, leave you in here, leave you in here. Perfect. Here, we got a full stack on all these, and then we can start uh, over stacking. Just to make sure that these don't end up having a situation where they run out. Yep, not quite at a thousand each. They don't need to hold on to the hyena hides. We don't have enough hyena hide to be able to do anything with it. Oh, we have exactly enough to do one. We need three, I believe. Ash. Lotus. Oh. You off. Alright, inventory's almost sorted. Drop you off. And drop you off. I put our truncheon in here, I think. Grab these. We now have an extra hammer. Guess we'll keep one on us. With that spare, we'll hold on to it. Okay. Steel fire. We've got way more steel fire than we need. It's the uh, it's the actual iron is the real bottleneck right now. So we're gonna want to upgrade these guys, but that requires straight iron. So it means that we're gonna have to 
have to not do any work for a quick moment. We can swap these out. Chest. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys real quick here. Need brick. I'm just gonna. I'm actually just gonna take. It. Just gonna take all the brick. Five. Do I have more brick in here? Oh, it's all stashed. That's all right. Uh, we can do five of these. So one, two, three, four, five. I need six. What I need. But we'll do five for now. Tier 2s will be able to cook significantly faster. That'll be good. They're also a little thinner. They're not quite lined up with the wall, but that's fine. This is just a production facility. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to get the job done. As long as it gets the job done, I'm happy. Alright. Set up. Get up and you just get the dregs, I guess. It's fine. You hear some iron. You'll fire wood. And I guess for now we'll just, uh, just pick this guy up. We'll make another one later. But all tier fours unlock a few of the same base recipes. A tier threes do too, I think, don't they? Both tier three and tier four unlock them. Tier 4 unlocks the entirety of the of the tree, but I think they both do, right? Got a pile back up here. Drop off spare stone. Perfect. We have spare wood. Up here. There's some more steel for you to continue to run. Horsements. Regular iron. We don't need any more of these being made. Should be enough for us to build whatever we need to build. Drop off our steel fire. So we have just too much steel fire. We need way more iron. So hopefully that, that, now this will be speeding up the rate at which we're getting our iron running. Hopefully we'll start moving faster here. So we need to go do another iron run. No, don't. No. No. Move <laughs> this. Thank you. Punk. There we go. Not as many recipes with tier threes. Yeah. Okay. Do we need anything before we go on this run? No, I think we're good, right? Unless we want to go. Unless instead of a run for iron, we want to go and do a run for star metal. If we do. This stuff's going to run out of things to work on. Let's do an iron run first. Let's do another iron run, and then we can go for a steel fire run. Or then we can go for a star metal run. We just need to keep the furnaces burning at all times. As long as they're churning, we're on the right track. We should also finish the dismantler quest in the top right there. Yeah, I'm hoping we can start doing, uh, we can try a purge attempt in like an hour or so. Kind of my goal. Man, I just badly want to blow all this stuff up. So, what is that? Um, five, five, about six days before that decays? Goodness. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. We can't really rely on that just disappearing on its own. If someone blows those up, it's going to restart the timer. So we ourselves might need to go blow it up instead. Should blow it up. Yeah, as soon as we find a demon creature. It, actually, let's... we do a brimstone? You know what? Let's do a... Mm. Yeah, we can go... We could do a quick brimstone run and a crystal run. 
So we can get iron, brimstone, and crystal. We didn't take our stuff to go do a thrall or anything. Let's just do iron. Let's stay focused on iron. Let's stay focused on iron right now. Let's go get iron. We'll bring it back. We'll get iron and stone running. We'll go and get um, more wood and actually get some actual wood production going because we're not doing any woodwork right now. And then once we get that going, which should be enough that then we can have steel being made. Because again, it's five steel or five iron to one steel. So right now we have four furnaces producing iron and one furnace producing steel. So we're not quite at the proper ratio. We, that's why we need one more furnace. So once we get one more furnace built, which we'll be able to do as soon as we get back, it'll be enough iron there and enough brick. We can then go ahead and change that over. The other thing we're going to want to do technically is it would be ideal to have one more furnace doing brick. Because it's one brick to one hardened brick in terms of production rate. So it'd be good to do that too. Uh, we'll take a quick peek over in that region there, like right above our horns. Go we'll see if we can find a demonic shaleback. There's a high probability that they spawn over there just because of the density of those guys. We'll take a look over there and see if we can find one. Because if we can find a demonic shale back, we could get a hundred and something demon blood, and then we can get everything we need to start thinking about explosives. But right now we need to get all of our steel fire to be used to make steel, not uh, not explosives. Because it takes 75, it takes 75 steel fire per explosive. So 75 actual steel for one explosive. And we're going to need 15 explosives to blow up one of those. Just just strictly one of the vaults that are there. So, you know, 15 times 75. That's how much steel gets used instead. A lot. It's a, it's a lot of steel for a bomb. So right now I'd rather just use it for building materials. But, it keeps sticking around. Yeah, we'll, we can go take care of that. We need all the hide we can get. The human flesh is not really all that beneficial for us, but everything else. Armor tier 2, not really worth... Tell the others. Not worth thinking about. Archer 2. If there was a dancer here, maybe, but dancers don't spawn at this spot. Hmm. A little more uh, silver, it's good. Hey, look, another spear. Bam! I'll take that. You know what we'll do with that? We'll melt it down. Break it apart into parts and pieces. Turn into steel. Ooh! Some braziers? Some training dummies? Weird it didn't give me that. Drop those. I'll keep those training dummies. We'll find a use for them. Something cool. Also, just grab his aloe while we're here. If we don't actually have aloe that grows next to us right now. Spider. Be gone. Trident. Got sorcery done? Where you at? Uh, no, no. We're not done with sorcery yet. I do want to finish sorcery so we can get a transitory stone online. That'd be really, really nice. But we need to go and get uh, dragon. Uh, the, the things that we need to do next... Oh my goodness, Critter. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, where we are with sorcery is we need to do dragon bone. Uh, what, what? Hold on. I, I know this one. It's... <clears throat> we need... We need dragon bone for the next one that we're doing. We need five fragments of power. We need the witch fire powder. And I feel like there's another one that I'm, that I'm forgetting. Oh, black blood. Black blood. We have four more sorcery uh, levels. Four more sorcery levels before we can make that transitory stone. This guy's standing over here, keep posing. Ooh, get a coin purse on him. Anyone special? Nah, just a basic sorcerer. You basic sorcerer too? Yeah, you're just a basic sorcerer. Well, that was a very awkward swing. Wasn't even close. All right, Archer, come over here. I'll take that scroll. Oh, hello. Nice. Oh. 
I mean, you know. You picked the wrong camp, mate. Yeah, let's let's capture her. She's worth taking back with us. We're gonna let her live. Her and Tarman, who's a, a fighter and an archer, we can grab here. That'd be pretty good. They're low tier fighters. They're not the best. I'm hoping I managed to mute myself before copping there. Um, they're low tier uh, fighters of the um, of the high tiers. Like it's a it's a low tier four fighter. But I think it's worth grabbing her. Grabbing both of those would be beneficial. That's a bit of a trek. So we're gonna have to go and make a new. We'll probably go and make a new spot here to train them. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Left hand Luke used to live there. I don't know if he still is. Now we can take a. We can we can look at it. What is it? We need stone, wood, twine, or stone. Stone iron twine. Where are you? We're currently at the uh, the Iron Peninsula. We're over at um, Lookout Point, south of Tarman's Berth. It's a, an amazing spot for low tier iron, if, uh, low level iron. It's a great low level iron location. If you're not a high level, if you're like level ten or higher, this is where I get my iron. If you're below level ten. Then a good place to get your iron is over here, underneath Narrow Neck Span, and over here on the rock base near the crocodile. Because there aren't there's no one actually like defending the iron. That's too difficult that you can't just run away from. But it doesn't take long to get to level 10. Even level 10 in this game is, you know, what? 10 minutes into the game. Very quick to get to level 10. So, usually I just go and grab, like, whenever we're doing a playthrough, as you guys have noticed, usually what we do is we go grab the Depart tools because they're really good uh, upgrade to your absolute garbage basic stone tools. And then we run over here. <clears throat> we run over here immediately to pick up the iron and go ahead and make all of our iron tools. Yeah, so we can make a little, a little capture brawl spot thing, like, literally right here. We can make one literally right here. I think that's where we're going to do it. Uh, anything useful in here? Cloth pouch. Hey, another sorcerer scroll page. Perfect. I mean, we'll hold on to the failed ones. We really don't need them. We only need four of these. We already got two. Okay. Sorcerer skulls are literally worthless. They're worth nothing these days. It's not even worth carrying them. Slap you down. Here's some. Oh, I've got literally nothing to burn. Hold on. Get some wood real quick. We need 50 iron if we want to capture him. Oh, we don't have a truncheon. What am I talking about? Well, we'll come back later. We don't even have a truncheon. <laughs> we can grab whatever we want back from home base. We, we don't have a truncheon. It, 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 what, what, what are we doing? And we should make ourselves a steel truncheon, too, to make our life better. Um, we've got steel production now, so we can go ahead and make a steel one. No reason making our life hard. Yeah, let's go grab Tarman and whatever her name was. Go from there. You don't have glowing eyes. Does anyone have glowing eyes? Oh, yeah, actually, we'll try the king here real quick and see if the king drops any demon blood. I'm not sure if he does. Let's see any demonic ones here. All basic. Let's try the king real quick. Yeah, it looks like left hand Luke's base is decayed. Left hand Luke hasn't been playing when we weren't playing. Alright, king, come here. Good gracious, we still do so little damage. Oh, that's the Windows key, not the not the alt key to roll. Oops daisies. Luckily he doesn't hit that hard now that we've got proper armor on. We can take him out. We got him. Thought you made a steel one? Uh, we did at one point, but then we were raided. We have not made one uh, since, like, yesterday we didn't make one. But we just made a basic, normal, nothing special, here one. 
Crunching. <laughs> They're jumping each other. Oh, they're so fast. Not like last night. Thought you'd upgraded it? Nope. No, we didn't get a chance. I was thinking about doing it. Uh, remember, I was talking about the uh, the torturer's bench at the that like up for grabs base. Uh, the base that's like here, grab what you need. Use my crafting stations. I thought about it, but we didn't have any steel at the time. Demon blood? Nah, no demon blood. Okay. Thought we'd give it a whirl. The answer is no. Uh, we can go get some more brimstone. You know, let's go get some crystal. Get some blood crystal. We'll use it for blood crystal weapons. I like those blood crystal weapons. They look awesome. Love them. Let me grab this real quick. Alright, now you back off, mister. Actually, we do need all the high that can get. What am I talking about? I'll fight you. I'll fight you. We need all the hide we can get. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it. Man, those kudus are so aggressive. So aggressive. But yeah, let's get ourselves a a tier 3 truncheon. And we'll get ourselves a, an upgrade for it too. Although ideally... Ideally we go get ourselves some black ice so we can make some hardened steel. It's going to take a bit because we're playing with an axe. Oh my goodness. For a second there, I thought we only did one damage at a time. Oh, are you gonna, is it going to do the work for me? Who is this, by the way? Fighter tier one and a cook tier two. Good luck, guys, I believe. Can't flourish. All right, Missy. Slam you. Ooh, did a gem on her. A little bit of treasure. Nice. <laughs> oh, she's done. I was gonna go and drop that uh, patch kit that she had. Down you go. Oh, not quite. More. Give me that crystal. Oh, it also drops some iron. Totally worth it. Nice. Alright, where's that patch kit? The thing's totally worthless. You can't break it down or anything. I'm a repair kit. Never want, don't need. Alright. Sully's another guy we can always grab if we want to. Take all that. Uh, Sully over here is another tier four. He's a bottom tier four. He's not. He's not good. He's okay. You know. If we want to get like a real tier four, we're gonna have to go get like Leanne or uh, Sumerian Berserker or uh, Delincia Snow Hunter or Freya. Hello, this is new. It's through. It's through. I didn't quite pay close enough attention to. Close. Oh, yeah, we can't do this while we're climbing, right? Yep, we can't. It's through. It's through. Alright, it's through. What you got? Just a thrall wheel. Wait, what? Who are you thralling? <laughs> you do have a taskmaster on here, so it is actually worth raiding you. But who are you thralling in here? Oh my goodness, there's tier one on the wall on the ceiling here. What? Okay, we totally made that. I don't know why. Must have been a bit of lag. I mean there clearly visibly was some, but there we go. Hmm. They're not online. Oh my goodness, Swamp Donkeys is still here. It means we don't want to go where their base used to be. Probably still is. Yeah, who are you thralling over here? Oh, we're gonna have to check that out. It's zoning in. I can only imagine they're going for like Sully, but again, he's he's 
bottom he's bottom tier tier four. He's not that good. Alright, let's see who's over here. Oh good gracious. Um oh was this yeah, it was Swamp Donkeys before. Swamp Donkey's still here. He's Look at that base. Probably gonna start lagging a bit here in a minute. Yeah, this looks like Swamp Donkeys. They had the same pillar set up. Yep, Swamp Donkeys. Oh, geez, they're here literally right now. We are gone. The one Swamp Donkeys guy who's online right now is at this base. Currently at this location. We are out of here. We're carrying a bunch of garbage on us. Well, I mean, we're carrying a bunch of, like, useful stuff, but... It's okay if we lose it all. We don't, like, need it. Not, uh, not do or die. We can rebuild everything, but... I'd like to not lose our stuff. Right, let's head back home. I can pick up some brimstone while we're here, which we probably should. Okay, so Swamp Donkeys is still alive and well. Bit of a bummer because just how lag fast all of their bases are. Oh my goodness, their bases are just so obnoxiously huge. <laughs> and a uh, dire bunny, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Zelda, so let's avoid this person entirely. Zelda, literally two minutes later. I wonder whose base this is. Oh wow, it's them. <laughs> That's true. I was like, oh, Swamp Talk, he's gonna avoid these guys. Immediately afterwards, huh? It's Swamp Donkeys. <laughs> I remember why I want to avoid them. Let's run in here real quick and grab the scroll. There should be a scroll lying around. Yeah, here it is. Hold the thicken net. All right, now we just need one more scroll page, and then we're done. You picked the wrong camp, mate. I don't know. I think I picked the right one, buddy. Oh my goodness, this is always full of gear. It's amazing. Oh. Is anyone of value here for us to try and keep, or can we just uh, annihilate them all? Actually, there's no real need for us to. We don't get anything out of it except hides. Low quality human hide. Eh. Let's head back. That place kills you a lot? Oh, yeah, I've died a lot in that place. I'm surprised we didn't die there during our Iron Man playthroughs, though. Because that's a place where you can easily get surrounded and pinned. There are just so many of them. Yeah, let's head back home. So we didn't find the demon blood we were looking for. We did get the uh, blood crystal we were looking for. We grabbed a whole bunch of iron. We need to go and set up a little thrall spot. Probably just like, we can just build like a thrall spot there. Like on that little line, uh, that little outcropping or something. Kind of throw people off from where our main base is. And have it be in between where Sully and Tarman spawn. So we can just go grab them. If I remember correctly, someone... The heck was that noise? Hmm. Okay. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think... It either One of them, either Sully or Tarman, one of them is an agility guy. We can use him for archers. I would like to use archers. I don't think anyone's built on this island. Well, except for the far side there, where there's just like some garbage on the ground. Ruined husk out base. Drink up. Alright, let's get home. Let's drop this stuff off and then decide what our next plan is. Do we want to actually go and attempt for Star Metal? Or do we want to just stick with the steel equipment that we have right now and go from there? That's what we're going to do decide. So just got to place enemies. Uh, then start inputting items and start setting up automatic shops. Uh, should set up. You want to save? Takes like four to five weeks. About a month uh, worth of content. Oh, wow. Okay, so you got a bunch of stuff set up then. Or if they're slow two months. Okay, so you got a whole bunch of content prepped and ready for your D and D games. Then that's great, Dire Bunny. Yeah, prep is always. Oh my goodness, prep can take a lot of time. And you're running. Are you running four games right now? I feel like you're running four. 
Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to go and make ourselves some yellow lotus potions so we can get an additional chunk of stamina so we can run faster. Yes, Silly is 30 agility at level zero. Perfect. All right. You just checked. Excellent. Thank you. Use the bouncer at your tavern. Nice. All right. Perfect. Yeah. So then that means this is going to be great. So we can actually go ahead and between Sully and Tarman, we can use Tarman for the two guys guarding the gate in the front, and then we can use Sully for like four archers. That'd be good. We can get that to work. That'll work. Wait, what? Die Runny, what? Seven games? Seven Dungeons and Dragon games you're running? Are you are you going full time? What are you doing? Three waiting to fill slash launch, so potential ten total. Holy jeez, but at the moment you're running seven. Oh my good gracious, how do you have the free time to do that? Are you going full time dungeon master at this rate? Like that's insane. That is a lot of games. I mean just think about it. If you had 10 games, each game was four hour sessions a week. That's 40 hours. That's a full job. It's insane. Oh my good gracious, Dire Bunny. How's it going, Stormy Snow? Hopefully you're doing well today. You ran out. Let's get you rolling again. Let's get two full stacks on each of these guys. go. You take some and a little extra. You take some. Take some. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and restock up the stone. These. Go. No use for chitin, so we'll drop that off. Titan. Woke up nine minutes ago. Good morning, good morning. If we had a restful sleep. Go. Can't really stack these. It's overflowed. Means I can't put more fiber in though. Right, get you rolling again. Let's tar. You're still busy. Let's tar. You can start up again. We're just keeping this guy on heavies. Bitter tea. Uh, other hides. You're still working on hides, and you're still working on hides. Actually, we'll hold on to the fur, actually. I don't know if we're going to need it. We don't have any other fur lying around. We'll hold on to it for now. Good. Let's see if we can break some of this stuff down. Uh, you only work about three days a week, honestly. It's full-time wage for you, though, by a large margin. Wow. Congrats. That's pretty awesome. Let's just go ahead and break down all these things. I don't need these. I'm going to hold on to the target dummies. Uh, the training dummies. Uh, we'll hold on to those. Steel trident and spear. Don't want them, but I want their steel. Uh, wow, black hand earrings. Full full durability. We're going to hold on to these. And I, I, there is some value in holding on to those, because they're good for the dancers. They're better armor than the basic, uh, basic gear they have. Break these down. <laughs> um, yeah, we can... Well, you know what? No. Give me that back. Give me these trophies back. They can go in the bar. They can go in the bar. Notes. Or paints. Oh, not the treasures. Thank you very much. Pillows? We'll hold on to the pillows as well. Up over the bar. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure this is getting worked on. Steel production is currently stalled, so let's turn this back on. We're going to change extra steel. Let's go ahead and get more steel reinforcements. Since those are going to be a real limiting factor for us soon. All of them we can get. It's not well. 
That's still cooking. This car in here. Steel fire. That steel fire. That rolling. And now that we're done with stone consolidate, needing it quickly, we can go ahead and put this crawl in here and speed this up. Make the rest of it. That's good. There's so much. We've got over a thousand steel we can make, but we need to have the iron to match. That means we need 5,000 iron. It's a lot. <laughs> We're going to have to get that going. Okay. So, we can go drop stuff off at the bar. We can go put the stone consolidate in here. Oh, not you. Consolidate. Um... Efficient prep, a lot of your content for your games is uh, pre set up with Foundry and purchase beach areas, uh, beast, beast areas or uh, Patreon maps. That makes sense, yeah. Okay. I can just imagine the barman telling a story about a shoe bill that almost took his head off. Oh, yeah. This one night, I w I drank way too much. I went out to go and relieve myself. And this massive shoe bill the size of a house was right in front of me. Run over to the bar real quick. Let's go throw some decorations up here. Yeah, we can start doing uh, building soon. We've got enough for, I think, ten building pieces. So not a lot yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Next, Dermy, Chew, and Pillows for now. Put the text in your shoe here for now. And move it somewhere else. Uh, the training dummy. Let's actually just put the training dummy up here. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, let's get our heads. We're gonna want them over the bar. Bars can go back here. Actually, we can put them over the put them over the door for now. We'll always move them later. Tiger trophy. Go. Uh, is there any other trophies we need to drop off? Nope. That's actual proper aloe extract. Whoa. Fancy stuff right there. Yeah, that's it there. Okay. And let's just go ahead and put some cushions on here for now, yeah? Cushions to sit on the... There we go. Sit on the bench. Oh, didn't mean to hit O. I meant to hit only P. Get out of first person perspective. Hello, sir. I can't believe no one raided you. Um, but hey. How's about you hold on to these treasures for me? You can do a tier two? No, it's still only tier one raid. Nice. Exchange treasure. Hmm. Oh, cool. we can change we can change silver coins to gold coins. That's kind of cool. One of these days, Sumerian Berserker, I will join you for PvP, but right now we don't have the gear to do it, but I do need the practice. Definitely need the practice. We haven't done proper PvP in a while. Do you learn how to prep faster and more efficiently as time goes on? Oh, absolutely. That's good. Well, also since you can like reuse some stuff too, like some world building experience that you have, some like general ideas, being able to use that is very, very beneficial. 
guess we're just going to squish all the human flesh we have. I don't know what else to do with it. This in here. Off the horn, just in case. We need it for another headset. Our headpiece gets broken for some reason. Grind that down. Fire water, frenzy water, honey whiskey, and jungle rum. Take this aloe and put it in here where it belongs. There's wraps too, actually. I put the rotten meat down right now. And do the best we could do. Go. Those. Actually, now that we're here. There's no reason to use weak aloe extract anymore. We should upgrade. Same with the wraps. We can leave them here, but we shouldn't be using... Well, no, not these. That going, please. But we shouldn't be using them anymore. There's, there's no reason for that. We can now actually make proper wraps. Oops, not that many. Look at those. And give us more durability to ensure we don't die. Go ahead and grab these. Let's make another. What? Oh. I don't have shaped wood? Seriously? Oh, that's awkward. Now we can fix that in a flash. Go ahead and make another 500. We should look at upgrading these so it takes less wood. But for now, this is fine. 500. We need another chest or two here. It's for storage. Alright, how's steel going? Slowly. <laughs> it's going. What's well, going? So very soon, this one's back online. This is another misc box. Let's just pile it up with the rest. Not ideal to do it like this, because... Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Not ideal to do it this way, just because, you know, it's easier to rate it. it takes one explosive, or takes less explosives by having them all stacked, but yeah, it's fine. That's all right. We'll live. Give it side. Side. It's tar. We are blasting out tar. It's huge. Massive improvement to my normal rates. This is great. I might actually need more uh, firewall cauldrons at this rate. What we really need is we need more furnaces. We just don't have even close to enough furnaces. Like this is this is hysterical how few we have getting this job done. It's taking way too long. Smelters would help, but even so. It's still taking way too long. Because we need brick. Two more going. Take everything out of you, and we're gonna move it over here. Okay, so this is all gonna be steel, and then everything else is gonna be, the rest is all gonna be iron. The rest is all gonna be iron. So what we'll do is we'll take you, and some of you. You, and some of you. Just take the scraps at this point, should be enough. Need a little wood. Quick stacks of wood. Two more furnaces online making us iron. 
fast as we can, please. As fast as we can. There's the brick to get jumped in here. This guy needs to be upgraded. Which one can I take? I'm taking that. Make another one. Go ahead and convert you. Alright, brick. Stone. Okay. Speed that guy up. Um, wait, is it only 50 each? It's 100 each. Another 100. No, I'm not supposed to do this, but... Much rather get this going sooner than later. The faster we can run these bad boys, the sooner we can get up and running. Oh my goodness, hello and welcome, Alto Punk. How are you doing today? How are you doing? How was your stream? Oh, that's right, Alto Punk raids and jumps out. <laughs> Hopefully there was a great stream. Hello and welcome, everyone. Hello, welcome, welcome. I was Bannerlord. I remember seeing Alta Funk was playing some Bannerlord. Mountain Blade 2. Such a good game. I don't know. Has there been more updates to that game? I haven't played it in like a year now, I think. I think it's been about a year since I played it last. Oh, yeah. You snoozing now? Well-deserved snooze, indeed. It was great. You're tired. Have a great stream. All right. Take care, Alta Funk. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Thanks for popping in and saying hi, and I appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. So good indeed. And yes, more updates. Ooh, okay. I have to think about playing that again. I had so much fun with that game. We took over the entire map. We took over the whole map. I don't remember how many streams it took. We'd have to go take a look at the VODs on YouTube and see how many, uh, how many streams it took. But we took over the whole map. We owned everything. Oh my goodness, it was good. Such a good game. Alright, done. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Since 2018? That's been a while. It's been some time. Alright, we need to get more iron. We're running low on iron very, very quickly. Quickly. Burn! Burn faster, my furnaces. We need more. <laughs> That's taken with a bow and glass. Nice, nice. You're almost at that as well. The Vlandian campaigns moving forward as you foresee it. <laughs> Is that a ever felting voice? Yes, I'm almost on as uh, on that as well. The Vlandian campaign is moving forward just as I had foreseen it. Do it, right? <laughs> 40, it took 40 banner lord streams? Holy. Thanks for checking on that one. That's crazy. So it took us four it took us 40 streams to go ahead and uh and beat the game. That's not too bad when you think about it, because we lost it. Like, we were really struggling to get our feet on the ground, you know? It took us a while to get up and going. Two hundred and six hours. Yeah, that feels about right. <laughs> We did that with uh, with Mountain Blade Warband as well. That was before I was recording. Before I was recording streams. Here, let me go grab some more tea real quick. Um, but yeah, we, we beat Mountain Blade Warbands uh, the same way, but we don't have any of the VODs. None of those are on YouTube, because that was before I started recording the streams. Because that was our second game that we played. The first... No, that was the third, third game we played. first game we played on the stream was Crusader Kings 2, and we played... Ridiculous amount of that. Then it was Faster Than Light, which was an amazing game. And then was Bannerlord. And then I think after Bannerlord, we did New Vegas. Is that right? No, we did RimWorld. And then we did New Vegas, and I started recording streams when we were doing New Vegas. And that's the first uploads onto YouTube are New Vegas. So yeah, we don't have Bannerlord. We don't have RimWorld. We don't have Faster Than Light. And we don't have Crusader Kings 2. None of those are in the VODs. That was before I started recording. My computer couldn't really keep up with recording and streaming at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
the first boss the uh, players will be fighting in your Bloodborne campaigns uh, at level three is a CR six. Oh my goodness, Tire Bunny, how many players are you playing with? That is going to be a struggle fest unless they're very, very focused, uh, like high efficiency characters. Get a well, but I don't want a well. You're so ugly looking. All right. Once we get shaped wood, we can start busting this out and start building our castle. We can start getting to work. We need to get some braziers up there on the uh, on the parapets as well. It's gonna look amazing. Let's drop off these. Hmm. Sounds like we're gonna have to do another roll through those games so you can get it on the vaunts. Yeah, I mean, get them on the tubes. Yeah, well, we're not going to do New Vegas. We got we have our Fallout 4 playthrough on YouTube, but I don't want to go through Vegas again. We've already I've played I played through it myself when it first came out, and then we then we streamed it. So we've done two of the three ways. So or three of the four ways. The only options we'd have left would be siding with House or the Legion. I don't really want to do either of those. So we're done on that guy. Faster than light. There's a new game out, it's called Trigon, which is essentially the same game, but like updated a little. It's 3D instead of 2D. Uh, that's on our list of games to play, so we will be playing that at some point here. But we will be coming around to that at some point. And then, what was it, RimWorld, I do want to go back and play RimWorld again. Because we ha we played back when it was first released, not any of the DLC. We got quite some time. Yeah, so we're going to get lights on the on the good old ramparts here. We can get ourselves some archers, get prepped and ready. It's going to be amazing. Well, we're going to be prepared for the purge. We just need to finish making everything in our, our furnaces over here. And Lemidor, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. I still have to figure out why we're not getting pop-ups for follows, but I appreciate it all the same. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, we need to go and do RimWorld. I've been avoiding doing RimWorld because... I know I'm going to get addicted to it just as badly as I do with Conan Exiles. It's going to be bad. We're going to play RimWorld one day. Hello there. And next thing I know, we're going to be playing RimWorld for like three weeks. <laughs> At least. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, right, little thread. Thanks for, the, uh, thanks for hang, saying hi. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Hello, hello. Oh, General Kenobi. Hello, hello. Let's get the steel rolling again. Get back to work. Okay, that's a good chunk there. Good, good. Uh, where are we at with these? 60 on each. All right, we can start doing a little building. Let's go and get our uh, construction hat on. I don't think there's anything else we need to do right now, so we can go get our construction hat on. I think there's enough material in each of these to run for a little bit unsupervised. More plant fiber for you. That's fine. We got plenty. Bricks. Bricks. Yeah, you've got plenty of iron to make. You have some, <laughs> some, some steel to make. Uh, we'll go ahead and get more steel reinforcements rolling on you. You're fine. Good to hear. Good to hear. I'm doing well. Better every day. All right, let's get to work. Oh, yeah, RimWorld's so addicting. Just like, yeah, all these games are so good. You can sink so much time into these games. RimWorld, Bannerlord, Conan. Oh, my goodness, they're so good. We will get back to our regularly scheduled stream games soon. Not this week, though. Maybe not next week. But the week after that, at the very, very latest, we will. The very latest the week after that we we'll get back on it all right we need to start looking at design so we've got the so the tavern is set up we've got the tavern we've got the upstairs we got downstairs but i don't like the fact that to do that we have to go you have to go up the rampart down the rampart and then in the front door that's kind of ridiculous why would a bar ever have it like that that makes no sense so we need stairs somewhere in here um and i'm thinking maybe we put stairs here but that puts us that gets in the way of the view so we can put stairs on this side. Let's go move this taxidermy shoe bill. Jam it over here in the corner for now. War Tales? Um, yes. War Tales is on the list. War Tales is on the list. Valheim? I don't think Valheim's on the list. 
Uh, if you want to double check the list, if you go down to the about section on Twitch here, there's a, uh, a two playlist button, a button that says to play. Hit that one. It'll bring you to an Excel sheet that shows you the games that are on that list. Ones that we're going to be playing, ones that I'm still deciding if I'm going to play or not, and then one with that's going to eventually, once I actually do it, because I haven't done it yet, get a full list of all the games that have been suggested just so people don't uh, resuggest the same thing a whole bunch. Just to save people time, you know? All right, so I'm thinking we go railings. We can just do... We can do this. Uh, can I spin you around? You're going to yell at me. You won't let me. All right. Spin that around. Open the door so now it doesn't block us. And disable auto close so that no one comes in here being like, I need to blow this place up. All right, there we go. Now I can get upstairs. It makes it smaller upstairs, but upstairs shouldn't be like for... Oh, we can make this be more like private parties. We can get dancers up here. And we can do, um, we can have this be like a private party event space upstairs. That'd be pretty cool, because you get this beautiful view. I mean, once we blow up that person's base, of course, we'll have this beautiful view. It'd be nice. And then we might remove this door to get up to the ramparts. I might make this just a solid wall instead of a door. So we'll have all of our, our big sweaty archers stand in here shooting people. It'll be good. Wait, did you actually finish CK2? We did pretty much everything we wanted to, yeah. We did a whole bunch of them. Uh, we didn't, like, finish every single achievement out there, but that wasn't really what we were aiming for. We conquered... Oh, man. I, it was late one night, and I wasn't paying attention. I was clicking through things quickly, and... It autosaved right after I pressed the button, but... We almost conquered the world until there was an uprising, and they're like, we want our, we want a revolt. And I was like, yeah, no, don't worry, I can fight you guys, and I hit the wrong button. <laughs> and I said, no, no, don't revolt, split up into your own kingdoms. I hit the wrong button. But we were so close to owning the entire map in Crusader Kings 2, so. Check, done. Done. Uh, and Zelda explained exactly why people raid low uh, tier bases because they're uh, ruining your view. Well, I mean that's actually a high tier base up there. That's a that's a full tier right there. This is a low tier base, bottom tier. Uh, but yeah, sorry. We're we're supposed to be we're supposed to be focused, focused. We're looking at design. We want to fin if we can finish the design of the ramparts here, we can then change our. Who's attacking me? We will Rhino. Give me your hides, big man. Where are you? I still need your skins. Hey, I didn't. You know, if he didn't attack me, I wouldn't have gone for him. That, that's his decision. Yeah. Are you really on an official PvP server? I am indeed on an official PvP server. Not a lot of people on right now. There were earlier. This is an official PvP server. Um. Playing on official, and uh, as you can see over there, that place was raided. <laughs> because they raided us. We had a base right here. That was where our production facility was initially. I moved it over there now, so we can try and get the purge to spawn here. We might have to blow that up to get the purge to actually spawn properly. Which is unfortunate, but it, it might be what it is. It just is what it is. I don't know. Do we want to have proper roof access as well? I don't think we do. This doesn't feel like what we would have at a bar. You know? You don't need people this high up. We already have the private room in here. This feels good. Those guys were jerks anyway. Raiding them uh, would do us a favor. Yeah. How's it going, Apnea? Good to see you in chat. I see you're still online. Doing what you're doing. Man, you're you're on the server all the time. A legacy member. You've seen you've seen the hackers come. You've seen the hackers hackers go. You've Kicked a couple of hackers off the server yourself. A true beneficiary of the uh, of the server, indeed. Pretty good. Took you forever to figure out your Twitch login. <laughs> Welcome. Good to see you here. All right. How do we want to design this? 
I think I'm pretty happy with how the walls are set. It looks really good. I like this design. What I don't like is this. This is what I don't like. This right here. Let's, let's get a good view of it. I'll show you what I don't like about it. Okay. I don't like that this pops up so high for the for the wall. We could bring the rest of the walls up too. We can we can increase the height of everything by two. Or actually three. One, two. Well, no, no, two. Then the, then the But it just it just it fe it doesn't feel right bringing it up two more. It'd feel too like ridiculously tall. Hmm. If we did that, we could have a forward gate in which we just have another gate that comes out all the way to here. But the thing is, I don't want to push out too far and have it where the purge can't actually get in. The whole point of this base is to fight the purge and have a cool bar. That's the whole point of this base. And I just don't like how tall this is. We could move it further over, but this is already in the center of the accessible zone. Like the walkable, walkable space. So I don't really want to change that up. I like how having it so we can get up to the ramparts here. I like having the bar be accessible immediately. I think we're going to remove this. And unfortunately, because of where this is, with the gate, we can't exactly have it here, but we can go up one. That means we wouldn't have access here, right in front of the gate. Hmm. I do want access above. We can put people above. Just make some towers in the wall corners. Oh yeah, there's going to be a tower right there. I want a tower right here. Right in the center. So it goes bar, barracks, tower, castle. The gold castle. And then like wizard tower over there. Wizard golem tower. Maybe like two, maybe three tiers. Not too sure. And then maybe we put like the treasury here. Instead of over there where it's at right now. Hmm. Oh, this is tough. It's tough. I'm not entirely sure how I want to set this up. We can start looking at maybe the castle design. We can get the, kind of the footprint laid out. Again, we don't have a lot of material right now to build. You can envision the project if you speak it, and it looks amazing. Thank you. Oh, this is, it must look good. This is the wrong direction. That's the correct direction. All right, so let's just uh, extend this space out a little bit here. The castle might not look super pretty, at least in its blocky design, but we can have hanging hours off of the corners to give it a more rounded visual. Uh, like visual, we good. No, we've not tried assaulting the Stygians yet. We've not tried uh, hitting their base at Albaraya or whatever it's called. Uh, over here. We haven't tried that yet. <laughs> I've, I've seen the base. But we haven't tried it yet. Because uh, I want to focus on this. But we should do that. Hmm. Let me clear this out for a minute. Let's get a little more vision. A little more vision here. So this right here is just a hastily thrown up little uh, building that we did, just so we could test. So we can rip this sucker back down. It doesn't need to be here. This is just a test to make sure that the purge would actually spawn. And it does. So if we properly square this out, we're going to need to get some rounding in somewhere. And we could have a rounding come off of here. It depends on the size of the base that we want to have the castle actually be itself. I'm thinking we go four back before the actual creation of the oh. castle. I think I want a big space for this wall. 
I'm thinking we go four. Like so. And then we start building the castle from here. Now it gives us a good amount of space between the two, so we can go ahead and set up whatever we want. We can even make a second height. We can do two two wall heights. One for the lower one, and have more guys on archer duty above. Should be cool. Can you build into the mountains as well? We can't dig into the mountains, but we can build upon the mountains. Let's get this to stop snapping. Stop snapping. So like so. So we can we can build upon the mountains within it. But we can't dig into it. Alright, let's go and dismantle this. Hey buddy, I appreciate your work. You've done a great job. Give me this treasure and get out of here. Again, this is a temporary build. We should have made it grander so that we didn't lose all of our stuff during the raid, but... Thank all. What you gonna do? Alright, now we can make a bunch of these. So let's go ahead and let's uh, double this up. Come on now. A little low. Okay. We're just going to kind of fill this in right now. We need, we need to get a good footprint set up. Once we have this footprint, we're literally just using it all on this one section. Good gracious. Luckily, we're building more. We're making more material right now to make more of this. But I want to get the castle started soon. At least just like the basic outline of it. Seems like Zaldar has a slight case of OCD. Nah, I'm just putting them all in the same direction so that people on stream who have OCD don't have any issues. It's not me. I don't know what you're talking about, Stormy Snow. It's not me. It's I'm being kind to those who watch. I've already warned everyone, don't look at the ceiling inside this base. It's, um... Yikes. <laughs> this, the ceiling's in here. The ceiling's in here. Don't don't look up. The, the beams, they go any way that they ended up feeling like going. There's crisscrossing all over the place. Don't look up there. It's fine. Don't look. Shield your eyes. Oh, perfect timing. That was the last steel bar made. Let's go ahead and get some more rolling. We're going to need to do an iron run soon. <laughs> My eyes! <laughs> My eyes are burning! I uh, know. It's, it's bad, I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But it had to be done. We had to quickly put it up. All right, there we go. Another 100 steel coming in. Um, I'll take you. I'll pop you. Okay. What was our limiting factor? Our limiting factor was the bricks, actually, as expected. It was bricks. So the hardened bricks are going to be the limiting factor for us here. Goes off. Off. Some iron. There we go. Found it in the stone. So brick production is going to be our main issue. Why it's going to take so long. So we're going to need another furnace. Let's actually just have you work on hardened brick for a bit here too. And have you just keep turning out bricks in the meantime. Just so we can catch up. Give us 500. Give us a stack. That'll be good. Meantime, yeah, we have we have so much steel fire. So just the issue is we just don't have enough. We don't have enough production. So you know what we might do? Is maybe we go crazy and we get like the heat furnace instead. Because our our steel fire production is is fast enough. That's not the issue. <laughs> Are you send your medical bill for your burnt out eyes? Oh man, I don't know what to tell you. There's no healthcare over here, not in Conan Exiles. Hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Big sneezes. All right. That's done. Now here's the thing. What if we decided to go with a heat efficient furnace? Yikes, that's a lot. Um, it's just the brick. The brick's the thing that's holding us back. But a heat efficient furnace is insanely fast. It's absolutely just bonkers how fast it is. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a quick pause on our production here. Get ourselves 300 hardened brick. And we'll go from there. So in the meantime, while we wait for this to continue to cycle, the raid window has ended. We cannot be raided anymore. Raid window is closed. Holy jeez. When did these pop up? You know what? I bet this is Atia's... Or at least this one I bet's Atia's. Atia's over here. I bet these are Atia's. I don't know who this is though. We never we never checked. Hmm. Gonna Excel's healthcare might involve fist to the face until the complaints stop. It might be, uh. Um, I'm thinking maybe we run to the Temple of Frost. Do we have any spicy food? Any spicy food? I don't think we have any spicy food. We can get some spicy food going. We've got what we need for that. Get that rolling. 30? I don't know if 30 is enough for a stove. Is that enough for a stove? 50. Uh, I'm going to need some iron. That iron. That iron. Get this iron. Get some reinforcements. Reinforcements anywhere else? Did I really just like blast through a reinforcements? How did that happen? No clue how that happened. Let's get a stove online. Have we talked to the frost giants? Haven't talked to them yet. Um, but we've been up there before. That's how we leveled up so quickly. Oh. Make sure we take all these. And I love the dismantling bench. We're gonna get a higher level dismantler though. It's gonna be good. There's some more steel, some of those steel weapons that we had. That rolling. Some more iron. Definitely need to have more of these on hand. It's just we can't can't survive with a small number on that. Definitely need that. Uh, shape wood. Hold on to that. Let's actually grab all the shape wood. We might do another shape wood run. We really should upgrade these to tier two, but they take shape wood to make tier two. So, meh. Shape wood's so cheap. So easy to make. Wine. Get our burnables in here. Our burnables. Do we want to keep the brushes? Sure, we'll hold on to the inking brushes. Why not? Die. Oh, the candle. Let's dismantle the candle into some ichor or ichor, however you prefer to pronounce it. Put you in there. And we'll go and break this fiber down. Eight more, and we're good to go. All right. On question for Zaldor, since they DM. Yes. What you got? Do you tell your players if they enter X area, they will also have to do the X saving throw if the X ability... Wait, what? If the X ability placed an area that anyone that enters, it must do a saving throw? I Okay. Uh, just for clarification, Dire Bunny. You're saying, do I tell my players, if you enter this room, like, there's an inscription across the door that says that one's will will be tested. See if you're truly worthy. Right? And they walk through, the, and so they know from the thing that if they walk through the door, a will save is going to happen? Are you saying something like that? Is that is that kind of what you're going for? Or a little more subtle. Or if a spell placed in AoE, then anyone that enters it must do a saving throw. Oh yeah, if someone has Zone of Truth going, for example, and there's like some sort of, you know, like particle effect or, you know, some, some visible effect from Zone of Truth, they'll, they, they should know that if they walk into Zone of Truth, that they will have to make a saving throw, a will saving throw, or else they'll be forced to only tell the truth. Feels this fair. Stove acquired. Keep burning that into bricks, thank you. 
All right, so now we have spice, also known as ground up plants we found outside. And we'll just take some haunch out of this chest, right? And yeah, I got some just a little flesh here. Bam! Oh, we do actually need something viable. Let's grab some branches. A branch stack. Bam. We'll make as much as we can, which isn't much. It's only 11. Get that cooking. Uh, and then we just need to go and grab our torch. And we're good to go. Grab our meal, grab our torch, and let's go head up to the north. There's the solution, secret check. Uh, then hint to the effect. Yeah, that's also the option. Yeah, you generally assume they will assume you left an AoE with a weird particle effect there for for a reason. Yeah, that's essentially what I do. Or did you subtle when the effect is you get thrown into the air and are suspended and unable to do anything and no gravity? Yeah, that's kind of hard to be subtle about that. You walk into the room and you feel oddly lighter. What do you mean? Like, uh, just like, I, I feel like I can jump a bit? You feel like you're not touching the floor anymore. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know how subtle you can be with that, yeah. All right, done. All right, so we are good to go. Is there anything else we want to do before we go? We should make one explosive. Let's make one explosive. We have what we need. Let's make an explosive just in case we find some steel, uh, some uh, star metal there. Let's make one explosive. One. Ooh, I don't know if I have enough crystal. Oh, I have enough crystal. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, that was close. Stop the production and create one. Oh, we have enough for two, actually. Did I learn explosive arrows? Nope. We probably should. It's just so much more efficient. Uh, iron head arrows. Oh, we don't have any. I threw them all out, didn't I? Oh, I did. I know I did. I most definitely threw out our iron head arrows. Gosh darn it, we're going to have to learn Iron Head Arrows too. Wait, it costs us three whole knowledge points. It's ridiculous. Okay. Back to work. Okay, crystal. Iron. Uh, what is it? Branches? Is it branches for Iron Head Arrows? It's branches. Luckily, we're around shoe bills all the time, so we always have a couple of feathers lying around. And we'll pull out the branches. Bam, bam. And sit. Noxious gas, ivory healing explosive. I need some tar. Oh, you have no tar on you? What? You should be running. Got tar. Okay. Close of errors acquired. I'm pretty sure I threw away my bow, too, didn't I? Get rid of this steel spear, too. We get those for free regularly. Binding as well. Do we have the other binding somewhere in here? Is that with our tools? It should be with our tools. Should take the bedroll too if we want to be safe. By rebinding the spear. Drop our arrows. And uh, the rest of the iron. We'll go here for more iron reinforcements. Okay, now we're gonna go. We can just make a bow on our way, it's fine. No big deal. Alright, it's nighttime, and under the cover of darkness. We ride. Alright, that's done. And just need some fiber. Right, we're out of here. Let's go. If it helps, you can only float for a round. Uh, you then fall and take 8d6 damage as if gravity all hits you at once. Oh my good gracious, Dire Bunny. That is terrifying amount of damage. What level are the players that are going to be dealing with that? That's an insane amount of damage. 8d6? 
Wow. Holy. That is, that is a lot of damage. You're literally dealing with, what is that? That's, uh, what, 8 to 42 damage? 52 damage. No, 48 damage. Excuse me. 8 damage to 48 damage. That is a big range. Yeah, maybe have it be where, like, oh, you know what, Dire Bunny? That would, like, be really interesting. You have it be in a room. I don't know exactly what the, the setup is for it. There's all these visual effects sparkly in the room, which is the gravity effect thing. There's a book floating in the middle of the room, gently spinning within all of these particle effects. What do you do? That's a bait and a half right now, right there now, isn't there? Um, I'm going to detect magic. The entire room is emulating an evocation. Right? It would be evocation. Evocation aura. Oh, it's 5th edition. I don't know what that tells you in 5th edition. Um, oh, yeah. I think it just tells you the school, right? Let's go to the uh, sinkhole. Because I think there's a uh, teleporter from the sinkhole that we can use. How's it going, Longclaw? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, it's incredibly dangerous. Also, have a special map set up for if you die, really? Okay. They get to have a special talk with the literal devil if they die? Oh my gracious, jeez. Mm, someone's angry. And none of these guys have glowing eyes, so we're not going to stop. I will go this way, because it'll let us wrap around so we don't go directly next to Swamp Donkey's base. Not online right now. Um, Apnea, if you're still chilling out in chat, do you know anything about uh, Skagnar the Pict? Do you know anything that's going on with uh, Crow Magnon? The Cro-Magnon Club. Do you, do you know what's going on with those guys? If you're still chilling out in chat? I'm curious. Also, that base is raided. Have we checked that base? I don't think we have. I'm missing some walls. Take a look. You're doing good? Excellent. Got some time to kill before heading to play some TTRPGs? Glad to finally get stopped by again? Yeah, good to have you by. Uh, what TTRPG are you going to be playing, Longclaw? We're chatting about 5th uh, edition Dungeons & Dragons currently. It's tier one. One last bit. Uh, climb. Whose is this? I don't remember this being here. Oh yeah, I was supposed to make a bow. Nope. Boone. They have been annihilated. How long ago? I didn't even pay attention. About the same time as the other guy was. It actually raided off by one hour. So yeah, he was probably raided by the same person that raided the guy next to us. That raided us. There's literally nothing of value here. It's a cute little uh, stairwell. I'm assuming there's another stair here. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be concerned. I'm trucking. Uh, what else do we need to do for this? Power shot an enemy? We can do that real quick. Uh, bone arrows, flint arrows. We just need a little stone. Finish this up here. We can get a more powerful thing. Hackers wiped everyone in one day. Ooh, okay. Uh, how, do you know how many days ago that was after you? You know when that was? Um, and the clan name? Oh no, you said it was War Something was a clan name. They didn't hit us. I said power shot on anybody, but I didn't actually hit him. 
below. A little high. What? Go for a body shot? There we go. Not quite enough damage to kill him now. Oh my, it's very close to. Got him. <laughs> Archer acquired. All right, we can get our upgraded powerful bow. I should have done this because that gives us a hundred iron head arrows. I wouldn't have had to learn it. Or set fifty iron head arrows. <laughs> wouldn't have had to learn it. Oh well. Whatever. Oh, uh, we can now make the powerful bow instead. A little bit more damage. Five days ago. Yeah, that's the timer I'm seeing on everyone. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That would explain, because uh, all the places we've seen have 140 hours left on it. So that would have been five days ago. Uh, did they get? Did you take care of them off the server, or did they get kicked off the server by admins, or what happened? They're still around. Sharp shooter. If we make, want to make a bigger one, could oh, we actually have to craft them too? That's fine. We're working with the soldier one. Slowly do these as we go. You want to learn the Witcher system? Maybe alien? Oh my goodness, the Witcher system would be a lot of fun. Well, there's nothing in here. Open around. You got them to attack your base when you counter raided their secret stash? Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Because apparently there's um there what is it? the devs are currently working on sky bases. The devs are currently working on um, making it so sky bases won't work anymore. Uh, the glitch that they're able to use it. Like every single time a building material I don't know if this is gonna cause it to lag like crazy. But every single time a building material uh, gets rendered in, uh, like foundation or ceiling or whatever, it does a stability check. So, yeah, they'll still undermesh. Oh no, that's already up and running? Excellent, okay, cool. So that's great. So for hackers, it means that we can now actually more readily find them. Because if you want to find all of the undermesh locations, there's a list of all the undermesh locations. You can find it online. It's not it's not hidden. It can be found. So they can't be invincible anymore, which is quite nice. They just oh, that's the patch that happened today. Oh, that's awesome. Oh no, they just patched a duping today. Oh, that's even better. Um, yeah, no, that's a real issue. Dupes are a serious issue. Big, big problem. Off we go. Yeah, that's good. The game also checks stability every 15 minutes. That's great. Alright, first things first, we're going to go in there and go try and see if we can just quick loot ourselves um, an item or two. Preferably, let's go heat up. Uh, preferably a ice pick. Then we can come back out here, grab black ice, see if we can grab star metal, and go home. That's the goal. Sneak on here and grab it. Doesn't sound like sneaking is working really. <laughs> Already found out. Thanks. Alright, what we got? Pick? Give me a pick. Not a pick. That was a boar. Spear. Excuse me, sir. Your poor chat trying to stay toasty. It's extremely cold. Why am I taking damage over here? I shouldn't be. Ah, uh, spear. Throwing hatchet. Not what I'm looking for. Bummer. Okay, not what I was looking for. Get out real quick. We'll go to the other location. Go check their uh, their stash. Run. For loot, for loot, though, I'll still take it. Okay. A chunk.
chunk with so much building uh, that has to get rendered with the stability chunk causes the player to actually crash when it loads. Yikes. That's not good. Alright, what do we get? We got swords, we got spears, we got arrows. Let me go put our arrow on there, that's fine. Uh, we got throwing hatchet. That's not helpful at all. We didn't get any tools. We'll try a different base, see if we can go and grab some. Otherwise, we'll just take the black ice, we'll teleport back home, make ourselves some hardened steel uh, pick, come back here, try and get star metal. That's, that's fine if that's what we need to do, because we can do it. We have the steel, we just need the black ice. But if we don't have to go back and forth, we won't have to go back. Also, while we're here, we can check to see if we can find a meteorite. Axon Red Boar, I think, is actually going to be pretty good. Definitely use that. Where did I put the eaters? Who are you? Ah! Oh, Jealous Gen. Is there anything of note in here? Yeah, it's just a furnace. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad that the devs are really working on things to help kind of, like, clean up the whole hacking issue. Because once, once it's where... If cheaters can't, like, guarantee the loot that they get is safe always, and they can't duplicate stuff. That's going to make things so much more tenable for us. Ah, there's the pick! Got it. I think that's the only chest in this area here. Alright, now we just gotta go find ourselves a star metal, star metal note, and we're good to go. Man, this loot update is just ridiculous. Just getting that for free. Like, you can literally come up here at level 1, just nab that and good to go. You check decay with your repair hammer as you cruise? Yes, that's why I pulled that out real, real quick to go check uh, Jen. Whoop. That's why we always need a repair hammer on hand. Didn't used to be that way. It used to be that you would just hold tab, which I've, I've of course changed over to this since. Um, but it used to be where you just hold tab and it would tell you decay timers on people. You didn't actually need the repair hammers, but that had been patched out a while ago. Hey, we found what we're looking for. Make some spiced fowl. Love it. All right. Go time. Bam. Good. Brand new black ice pick. I just wait for it. Once the fire's gone, we'll nab it. We'll go home. Actually, it needs black ice. We'll go home. We can get ourselves star metal tools. Oh now. Come on. Right. Easy peasy. I'm still scarred by that one time we came here and we made ourselves a hardened steel pick. But we had already, because it was when they just changed it where you had to use hardened steel to collect star metal. Which makes a lot of sense. It absolutely should be that that's the tier that you need to be able to collect. But. Is that a mammoth or a, another one? But it was the, I didn't know about it. So we went, we cracked it, tried to get it with a steel pick, didn't work. Had to do some emergency uh, furnacing right here. While we were waiting to get it, and then it despawned right as we got our hard steel pick. Oh, it still hurts me to my soul. Pick up some Highland seeds so we can go ahead and make some uh, berry juice and the like at home. Let me get back. Was that another one, or is that a mammoth that I was seeing? No, that is another one. It might have been the top of a mammoth head I was looking at, but there is another one over there. Maybe I'm right. Maybe it's just a coincidence. No, no, no. Recently watched that VOD. <laughs> you watched that one? It was so crushing to see the Star Metal disappear. It was. Oh, my goodness. I hurt my soul. <laughs> I still think about it whenever we're up here. Burn. Righteous fire, you monster. I'm glad we can actually do some damage to these guys. These guys can be scary. Not too bad. 
Hey, got him with the strength weapon. Perfect. Hide. Put the pick. And then we're done. Two of these is gonna be- I mean, one of them's already way more than we need. Like, you, you really do not need more than one star metal. At least on a PvP server. Because of the four times uh, harvest rate. It's just- it's so unnecessary. It's just- it's so unnecessary. <laughs> you get- you get so much, it's ridiculous. What? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20... So we... Yeah. So you have 2,000 and change, and you get half of that when you make them. So we have 1,000 star metal bars in our pockets. It's ridiculous. And so much. You had someone on a server today who had just built a brand new sandstone base. Uh, and it blew up in front of her. Ah, oh, that's brutal. Blew up in front of her. It was in an area where there's been other bases in the past. She lost everything. The log said it was destroyed 0 0.67. There's no one uh, with that name on the server. So you're wondering if the patch caused that? Maybe. Maybe the stability was being calculated at less than one. It is possible. I don't know how they would account for that. I mean, after the whole Namidian Foundation debacle, I'm pretty sure they're careful about it now, but... I don't know. That was a... that was a mess. Oh my goodness. Gods usually have numbers when they destroy things in the logs. Oh! Someone got it? Wait, that can't be right. Why would someone got a tier 1 base? I guess some people just have nothing better to do. Um, that's, that'd be crazy. Let's get a little more. I can't remember. Can we learn the ice stuff without killing the boss? I think we can. Oh, last time I managed to land just, just right so I took no damage. That's okay. We got way more than we need. Let's respawn. Aw, boo. Alright, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a porch. I think we just go and... I, th I think there's a thing right next to the boss. I can't remember. If it doesn't get too cold back here, I want to check. Go to put down, like, uh, something to make sure I don't die. But, eh, it's fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm sure we'll be all right. Is there a thing here, or do we actually have to kill him to learn it? I can't remember. No plaque. Ooh, an X. Oh, that one's empty? What? Or is it not here? How do we, how do we learn the ice tools again? Just like while we're here, we might as well pick it up, right? Uh, we'll check by the forge. I feel like we have to defeat the boss, though. Feels right. Maybe it's by the forge. The forge of Ymir. There's a pick over here. Grab that. I don't see it. Whoop. Oh, fancy feet. Get out of here. Bef behind the throne is a tablet? Ah, okay. Back to the throne. Perfect. Thank you. Wow, that was a weird reverb noise. It's, it's in interesting. Uh, maybe he's having a sick day. His throat's not feeling so good. Thirst. Wait, so it's back here? You sure? Ah, I literally walked right past it. Thank you. 
Ross Smithing learned. All right, we need everyone in this room before I can actually get around. <laughs> the doorway's a little thin. Oh, now it's it's now it's zoned in. Okay, got it. Loot all that. We want to loot it because we can break it down and get ice and uh, hardened steel from it. So it's beneficial for us to get that to dismantle. It's free hardened steel. We'll take it. All right, we're done. We're out of here. We've got star metal. We've got the materials we need for star metal. We still have enough brimstone for now. We'll probably need to do another brimstone run, to be honest. But I think we're good to go. So let's head on back. Let's get some star metal going. We can at least get enough that we can get our weapon and our tools up to star metal. Then let's get on to... Uh, let's build that big furnace. And then let's try and just ramp up our, our production and get back to building. Build, build, build. Gotta get this castle built up. A couple different tablets to read. If you don't know how to explain where they are, ah, no worries. We got the one I was looking for. Uh, the other one is by the entrance. On the far right-hand side there, so we got both of those. I think those are the only two tablets there. Oh my goodness, wait. I'm sorry, what? Apnea. Sorry, I missed that. There were 46 gods on uh, that were used on 1530 yesterday? Jeez, that server must have been decimated. That's insane. That's from the duping, right? Because people are able to dupe manifestations of zeal? That is crazy. That is, oh my goodness, 46 gods being used during a six hour raid window, holy. This is laggy over here. Oh, this base is still here. We're toxic on our server, was godded 12 times in a row, back to back, holy. Uh, who did it? So on this server, so oh my goodness, 12 gods. That is in a row on one day. Yeah, oh my good gracious, you can't get anything done. I don't know what water skin do with me, don't I? I do. No point in using it. We'll go by the water here. Pick it up. Ah, okay. So pig was being was duping. I remember seeing their base. Hmm. Yeah, like I know some people find enjoyment. Oh, we forgot to get a yellow lotus potion. I mentioned that earlier. We need to remember to get a yellow lotus potion so we get more stamina when running, so we can run longer. Um, I understand some people get enjoyment out of it, but I don't get any enjoyment. I, I lose interest in a game by like getting free materials. If we just got all of our building materials just out of thin air, just by like duplicating them or having someone donating them to us, like I would, I would start losing interest in the playthrough. I actually like the the gathering of resources, the, the effort it takes. But I know there are people out there that just don't. They just want to be mean. They, they just want to feel, they want to feel powerful behind their screens. Yeah. Okay. So, Star Metal's gonna get us up and running. Uh, oh, we can harden steel so we can get the upgrades on our tools as well. That's big. Okay, this run's gonna be really big. We're gonna be able to really increase the output that we're getting with mining stuff. And this should reduce the amount of trips we have to do to go do things. Uh, we'll need to go and upgrade some more of our production facilities, though. We definitely need to go and thrall at some point. We need to go get some thralls. I really want to go work on sorcery. But I think, ideally, we start the castle build first. I think we start the castle build first, and... So we get the, the basic castle build layout. So we just get the basic... Maybe just the, the bottom floor, maybe. We don't even get the upper floor. So we get the bottom floor built. 
And then we put our treasury where the treasury is going to be. Like, if we can design, design it out, build the treasury room, get the treasury set up, right? Then we can then focus on thralling. And then while we're waiting for those thralls to be trained, we can then run and get our sorcery done, because we're now going to have star metal, so we'll be good to go. So we can go get sorcery finished for the transitory stones. And then... After that, then we can start doing purges. We can always do a tier one purge today if we want to. We just fight it ourselves. But I don't know if there's really going to be anything we get out of it. We might get some like basic thralls that we can use, but I don't know. I don't know. Do we need to? Is there a? I feel like we talked about this before, but I can't remember. Do Do we need to have a certain purge level to get the barkeeper? We need a certain level to get the barkeeper. I'm not sure. No? Okay. Maybe we do one or two tier one purges then. Maybe we set it up, get the layout, put our treasury down, fill it with just the guy and some stuff in a box, and we do a tier one purge. Uh, you know, both proof of concepts is, oh my goodness, we've got corruption and we don't have a dancer anymore. Oh no, we, we do have a dancer. She's being trained right now. Didn't we pick up a dancer? I can't even remember what we were doing at the beginning of the stream today. We did pick up a dancer, right? Oh, I did not dodge. I did not, I did not strafe fast enough. Keep strafing. Strafing. I can't remember. I don't think we have. I don't think we have a dancer ready. I think we've just been sticking around. Yeah, we didn't do a, a brimstone run. No, no, we haven't. Not today. It was yesterday. Yeah, we're gonna need to go and get some dancers. We need dancers. We need archers. And we need uh, fighters. Of course, it doesn't hurt to have all the other guys too. For helping with production speed, but. Those are the important ones. Whoop. Oh, I cannot wait till we blow all these up. You picked up a tier one dancer yesterday. Did you bring her home? We tried. <laughs> uh, she died uh, right here. She died from that encampment. We ran through the encampment, and uh, she decided to fight. And she and we kept telling her to follow us, but I maybe she bled to death or something, but she died. She did not make it home. Unfortunately. Is that enough hardened brick? I feel. Oh, wait, no, we have two of them working on hardened brick. Thank goodness. Hardened brick. Smelting. Now we just need you. Oh, I didn't make more. We should make more. Okay. Knock at two if we want to do this. It's definitely worth putting it in here. So we'll go ahead and stick him here, and we'll go ahead and put this bank. Get you in here. That's yeah, fine. This one's going to output significantly more. He's not poking through. Oh, he's wait for. Better. Okay. All right. Hey, check, check this. All right, so see how fast this is going? Pay close attention. Yeah, I know, right? Oops. <laughs> we'll have to get a new one. See how fast this is going? Now check this. Oh my goodness, heat efficient furnaces are amazing. They're amazing. So yeah, if we can switch over to heat-efficient furnaces, this is going to make life so much faster. 
Um, so we need more brick. This guy will leave him as our steel furnace. But he'll just continue to slowly plot along with steel. Which is fine. For now. Uh, but we're going to use this heat efficient furnace for everything else right now. Go, and then... Let's see, yeah, oh, yeah, we need to do a brimstone run. Yep, we need a brimstone run. Okay. Get that rolling. Star metal online. Drop off this iron piece there. Deal for reinforcements. Actually, no. Steel for hardened brick. Or hardened steel. We need hardened steel as well. Um, take 11 back. Just need 100. That should be fine. Okay. Course, it's good. We'll go ahead and take these. Let's go ahead and make a couple more chests. We'll make another chest right here for you. Put our black ice in it. And don't really see much of a reason. Well, we can get a we can get a preservation box going. We can do that. For now, we can just. I think all the ice will fit. It'll be darn close if not. And perfect. Let's go break down these ice tools that we have that we're not going to use. Great swords might hold on to. Spear I don't want. The axe, we can get something better. We don't need the pick. I don't want her to have the pick lying around. Hidden somewhere? Nah, we'll just break it down. Swords, daggers. We can't do anything with the throwing ones. They, they don't break down, unfortunately. This gives us good... Oh, no. Does it only give us steel? I thought it gave us hardened steel. Is it only giving us black ice? That's fine. You're heading to bed? Alright, sleep well, Cersei. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you around. Let's hold on to these great swords. This might be beneficial for us to have our, uh, our team use. Our, uh, our defenders. Drop these off. Drop building materials. Let's clear out our inventory here. Coming wraps, seeds. Never want to use these. Bring up. Great an aloe. Burnables. Bark. Resin. These off. I'm going to clean these up there. Make it nicer later. We'll put them into the bar later. Not going to do it right now, though. Oh, hello. Come on, game. Uh, we'll go ahead and iron the steel. The wood. Stone. I want to try tier one purge anyway to make sure that the place. Yeah, exactly right. Make sure our placement still works because we are going to push it a little bit further back. I think. Oh, that's not right. One of the fur in here. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a good call. That's what we do. Go ahead and do that. Rolling. How's it going here? Is this sorted yet? Nope, not yet. Um, we still have meats. Let's drop off string meats in here. Bunch of spiced food. Slowly start getting through. We'll leave them in here right now. Slow its decay rate. Alright, let's get that star metal. Not the chest. Star metal. Star metal pickaxe. Here we go. Uh, actually, take the brimstone out for a second. Let's go ahead and get some hardened brick so we can get the upgrades on these. I need you. I need you. You are the two most important items for us to make. Next, we'll go ahead and make this guy, but we're going to make a weapon handle, which I don't know. Can this guy make a weapon handle? Yeah, perfect. 
plated and some leather. 15. And it's like one. Two enslaved leather. Weapon handle. Perfect. Leave these in here just in case. We end up dying while we're running around. We need them. Weapon handle. Go. Not more of this. We're making the. Hardened. That's enough hardened, so we can swap back. This hardened will be enough for two. Actually, we need we need some more. We actually need more than that. Uh, but we can at least get these two going. Nope, hold on. We need that hardened still. Keep at it. We need enough so we can go ahead and make the, uh, the upgrade for the axe. We'll go for the penetration on it. I like having that because it makes it really, really high penetration on the axe, so that we just don't have to worry about armor. It makes it so we can fight rock noses and other big sturdy critters without any worry. Right, go put this back in. This eight. I'd like to get more of these furnaces going too, if we can. There we go. There's some hardened steel in here. I knew we got some. One tool. Wow, this goes a lot slower than I remember it going. Hmm. Drop these in here. Actually, we'll take the 10 back out. Hardy steel will leave in here, since it's probably just going to be used for upgrades mostly. Keep continuing on those. Guys, so we'll get a little bit more of the. Ooh, base, nice. Uh, so we'll get a little bit more going from the good old heat efficient furnace. And once we have the heat efficient furnace, like star metal done, then we'll swap over to brick production, I think. What we'll do. High quantities of bricks. Two, that's enough. Or not enough, actually. Let's to go and get our ancient Lemurian X. Eat spare. And then with Zax, start killing things and running around and be strong and sturdy. We're gonna need to get our uh, armor upgrades next. That's the next thing to pay attention to. Alright, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick while we do this. Hang on tight, everyone. We'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm back. All right, did it make it? Perfect, all right. We got you, got you upgraded, so it goes from, that doesn't show. That goes from 13 penetration to 23. And now we've got ourselves star metal tools. So now we can start killing these things with ease. So now we're good to go, this is great. This is gonna be really, really good now. Let us see where are we at with the star metal production. Still plenty being made. Now, if we had a smelter, this would just be blasting. 
Oh man, if we had a smelter. Just love to see it go. Alright. So let's go ahead and let's move all this iron over to the steel guy. We'll need to do another iron run soon, but not oh my goodness, geez, you got a lot on you. I'm gonna do an iron run soon, but we don't have to yet. Because now it's more than this guy can handle. Which is great. That's what we're looking for. But the thing is, steel is not what's slowing us down to build. What's slowing us down to build right now is a hardened brick. And that's going to continue to be the main issue. We have plenty of steel. So what we'll do is we'll swap these guys on over very shortly to go into the heat efficient furnace. Start blasting through it. Let's get some more stone consolidate because we are running low on that, which luckily we've got plenty of fiber we can use for that. Easy. And we have more resin than I even know what to do with, honestly. Like, this is so much resin. Bam. Alright, we'll get that going. So we'll be good to go there. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Anything else we want to do before we go on a run? I think that's it. I think we just go for another iron run right now. While we let the star metal finish up. Star metal and then harden steel. Go for, let's go pick up that iron. Actually, we really need to go and get... We don't really need to do tar. We could go get more tar, but we don't actually need to. We're not struggling on tar. Because that's uh, the tar is going straight to steel, and our steel production isn't struggling. It's right now up to speed. And again, we'll just use the heat-efficient furnace to kind of blast us forward for a bit. But if we're willing to go and sacrifice another 300 hardened brick, which is what we're currently low on, we can get another heat efficient furnace, which I'm tempted to do. Two heat efficient furnaces, one for iron slash steel production and one for hardened brick production. Be pretty good. I still haven't gone and made that potion. It's such a cheap and easy potion for an extra bit of stamina. I keep forgetting to grab it. We'll remember eventually, right? One of these days it'll happen. Boy, Panther, I don't need to kill you right now. I'll kill you later. I'll take your hide another time. Right, so let's grab these. Okay, what we're going to do is let's go grab this, and then let's go grab stuff from our stash. Because we're out of the raid window, so we can't get attacked now. So let's go grab the iron. Let's get the furnaces filled back up with iron, stone, maybe grab some more wood to make sure we have enough material to keep on burning. And then we'll go grab the stash, consolidate all of our stuff, and then see if we can use the heat-efficient furnace to get us right back into building mode. And again, now that we're using star metal, we're just, we'll come out here less often. Because we're going to be looting significantly more per run. So we were playing with steel before. A huge jump. Straight from steel to star metal. Alright. So what was it? Last time we had a little over 4,000? Was it in the run? I think it was a little over 4,000. I, my good gracious, it's a huge difference. Maybe we had a little more than 4,000, maybe 5,000. It was 5,000 at the high end of the ironstone that we had last time we came here with the steel pickaxe. Pour some more tea while we ought to run here. And so now we're already at like 3k on just one patch. Uh, well, I, technically, I think it's two patches of ironstone. Kind of look at how it was uh, split between two areas. There we go more tea, so much tea. I think we might we might actually get 10k. We might manage 10k. I'm thinking eight at least, at least 8k iron ore. 
Get iron stone here. Or 4k. We get up to. That's the 5k we were at before. So we finished this zone with not quite six. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe 8k then. 10k was a little too high of a guess. Let's see. Either way, it's going to be... A, if we can get 8k, that'd be two stacks per furnace that's working on iron. Big. And then we can also run over to the Iron Peninsula if we want to. South of Tarman's birth. Oh, come on. Oh, not quite. So close. 520 off. So close. It's a lot of ironstone. Holy. There's no other iron over here, I don't think. If we want iron, we're going to have to go up here. I'm going to go grab more iron. But I'd rather just get this in the furnace. I think that's more important right now. Hit some uh, rocks on our way. Some more iron stone out of it. As well as just regular stone. Okay. So we'll get home. We'll get that running. Maybe the moon has one. So that means that, uh, yeah. Bill's Jenny's still up and running. The free leaders are still up and running too. I wonder what's going on with Coven. I wonder if Coven's still set up. We originally looked at it and there was some... Like, emergency patching up with Tier 1 walls and their Tier 3 building that we were thinking about knocking down those walls to see what was inside. But we never got a chance to go do that. I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Finish a combo. Do this real quick. Oh. Wear heavy armor? Uh, we don't have any heavy armor lying around, do we? Soldier one? What was the other thing we were working on? Oh, we were working on the hardened steel, weren't we? Ooh, now that we're making hardened steel, let's take a look at that. Ah, oh, gather black ice. <laughs> Alright, well... Uh, that's not going to happen. I switched it over when we were running over there, but I didn't switch it back when we got over to the black ice. Got distracted. Got distracted, because I wasn't thinking about the black ice until we got the pick. And once we got the pick, then I was like, ah, now we can go ahead and get the star medals when we need black ice. Oh well. Ah oh, man, turning the corner and seeing our wall just feels so good. I can't wait until we bring it down so it's like really integrated with the terrain. It looks so nice once we do that. It looks properly built in. We just can't afford the parts right now. It'd just be way too expensive for us to go ahead and do that. Way too expensive. Alright. Home sweet home. What are we doing? Almost done with this. Perfect. You get some more ore. You get some more ore. You get some more ore. Some more. Uh, you've got a lot, so we'll give you the small stack. It's okay. These guys actually have even more. All right. So it looks like we're gonna have about 60k iron. It's currently being made with the amount that we have set up in here. Pretty good. These guys are running strong. 200. We actually need more. Luckily we got that rolling in. Solid it for you. 
Oh, you have plenty, actually. I just split that up. Why would I do it like that? That's weird. Anyway, what? whatever. It's fine. We'll get more. We're going to have so much once we're done, because it's five per, so it's going to be five times about 700. We're going to have a lot. We need to do a brimstone run. That's our next run we got to do. So I guess let's go ahead and let's get ourselves a truncheon. And get ourselves set up. Ooh, we just need 44 more, and we can go ahead and make another one of these bad boys while we're gone. Just pump out iron and steel, or iron and the hardened brick. That sounds like the thing to do. Let's go and change this over. Actually, we can't change them over yet, can we? Because we need the hardened brick first. And we need the hardened brick to do it. I guess what we'll do is we can move it over here. Let's take half of your bricks, all of your bricks, which will be enough. We can solid it here. And let's get these going here. Let's get that 50 rolling. There's one with 70. Yeah, let's just grab all this. We can make a second one of these and run this as well. So that while we're gone, getting brimstone and uh, truncheoning someone, we can get this going with another big boy furnace. Exactly right. Got to get a big another big boy furnace in here. If we had three, like three big boy furnaces, we'd replace all these furnaces. We don't need any of these if we have. Actually, I mean, we get as many as we can. We get four. Um, because if we have one working on steel, we'd need we'd need more. We can have one basic furnace for, like, one of these is essentially four of those. Not quite. Not quite right. I think it's like three and change. So it's close enough. Uh, we need more steel reinforcements if we're going to do that. Do I have... Yeah, we have enough for that. You and you and stone console. That's the other thing we need, which oh, is holding or no, it's still in here. We need like a hundred out of this, which is fine. Like a hundred. Two more. One. And two. We're just going to put you in the center here. We're not going to redesign the base right now for it. Okay. Take that out. Finish off the hardened brick. For the uh, hardened brick. We can leave you in here. That's good. Uh, we're going to go finish up the hardened steel. We'll have you finish up hardened steel, and then we'll have you work on iron, I think. We're going to pull 1k from each of these. I know we just put a k in each of these. We're going to pull 1k from each of these. Also, make sure he's got plenty of wood. Because you do blast through fuel like nothing else. Alright, we'll just get that 2k going now. We got enough hardened steel for us to get by with whatever we're trying to do. Uh, then we also need to get more wood. Yikes, it's not enough wood. Uh, we can just do it branches. The coal. Let's see which one lasts longer. Could probably last longer than the branches, right? Two hours? That's enough. Now yeah, we can use the coal. Stack of coal and a bunch of stone. Get a thousand going here. And we're just going to use you to use, just make the bricks. This is the thing we were struggling with. Have you just produce a bunch of bricks for me? Bunch of bricks. And a bunch of iron. It's currently underway. Alright. Let's go ahead and let's get that truncheon upgrade. Should have enough steel still lying around. We need a friend bench. Also known as a, tor tor a torturer's workbench. 
Okay, so we need... What is it? 25 steel. 25 steel. Actually, no, leave this in here and pull out of the one that's actually producing steel for us. 25 steel. We need 50 shaped wood. Was it 25 coin? Perfect. Um, just jam this bench in here. Alright. So we can go ahead. We're not going to go with the big one. That's fine. We can get this going. But we need branch, steel, and leather. Steel, branch, leather. Okay. And then here I'm going to need 10. We can go and upgrade this. the advanced blunt weapon fitting so we can knock them out even faster. We can go ahead and take everything here. This back in here. I need some more iron reinforcements, but I think we have like I think we have like a thousand or something stashed. We don't really need them. Leather out. Goes here. This leather goes here for a thick one. And we can get the hides produced or uh, processed rather. This is not where the reptile hide goes, it goes here. Go and grab all the tar. We are going to need to get more tar production going at some point, but. Not hurting us yet. Real issue is going to be the brimstone. Yeah, the real issue is the brimstone. Is currently. We just don't have enough. Steel fire production is going very, very smoothly. Turning out the iron now. Now we're talking. Okay. Let's get that blunt weapon fitting. Let's get that cable for the uh, bindings. And we're good to go. Though it would be nice to have a higher tier. Higher tier one. Which we could do. Higher tier Wheel of Pain. We don't have the iron reinforcements available right now. I'd have to go and get them out of the stash. I think they're fine where they are right now. I think I think we're okay. Our goal is just to go and get the brimstone. Anything else is a bonus. But let's go ahead and let's make some more. Hmm. All right, hold on. We're gonna go ahead and get that stash. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna go grab the stash. Go and just mute the game. All right, hang on tight, everyone. Let me go and let me go and nab the stash real quick here. Let's go grab that real quick. Yeah, we're un unstashing exactly right. We're gonna go and unstash it. Unbelievably unstashed. Um, man, I didn't put it anywhere near the base. <laughs> Give me a minute. It's gonna take a hot second here. Um. Yeah, so let me go and let me go grab that because I think I'm pretty sure we have everything we need in there to do a couple extra builds. And it's just slowing us down, having to remake them. We already have it, so might as well get that done. And when you put things in your mustache, ah yes, we stash our mustache for just just so the right occasion, right? That's how it works. And we're back. We returned. Unload things from our stash. Yeah, we had a whole bunch of iron, a bunch of brick here too. Actually, I'm glad we went and we grabbed this. 
Um, all of those came out of the stash. Then we have all this stuff for making steel, too. Look at all the steel fire I had stashed as well. We can start making steel like crazy. But the more important one here is actually we've got a bunch of brick. More bricks than I remember having. So in fact... We could change you over. And we have the stone consolidate. You guys are actually almost out of power. Let's swap them. Let's get this one on making hardened brick. Like so. Have it just start blasting out the hardened brick. I think this is actually more valuable. Let's do it this way. Um, and then we just need more burnable material, which we are running very low on. Let's get some more going. I'll roll in this. That. All right, perfect. Okay, so we'll have a bunch of iron and a bunch of hardened brick when we get back. Okay. And is there anything else we want to convert? A bunch of steel bars. Let's move all the steel into reinforcements while we're gone. I don't want that to end up being a limiting factor for us. Alright, this production is really starting to take off. Now we're getting somewhere. All this iron. Try and get all this going just so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I have plenty of reinforcements for whatever we need to do. And also, we got plenty of shape wood right now. It really is just these are the, the ones we need. Alright, done and done. So, actually, if we have. Do we have what we need to make a tier two now? Can we build a Yeah, we can we can build what we need now. We need 50. We're off by one? How are we off by one? <laughs> How are we off by one? Is there any other twine that's like lying around in places it shouldn't be lying around? Off by one twine. Off by one twine. Amazing. All right. We'll take the twine. Uh, we need, what was it, 200, I think? And then... Yeah, 200, and then 50 and 75. 75 of you. Perfect. All right. Let's head out. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a tier two one so we can actually go ahead and pull multiple friends. Get multiple friends at one time. That's good. So we're going to run over here. We're going to try and trunch in a handful of friends. What we'll probably do is just honestly build this thing um, in the we'll probably dismantle the base we currently have a little bit and then rebuild it. And we're going to take every single dancer that we can. We definitely need them. Take all the dancers that we can. And then we will take any like any blacksmiths, any smelters, any tanners. We're gonna be very not so picky. We're just gonna grab anything. And we'll make we'll make the yellow lotus potion when we get there. Let's grab some yellow lotus on the way. Let's try and remember. I cannot believe I keep forgetting this. We need to grab some yellow lotus. More stamina is always better, so we can run longer. And we're really getting the... We got our production cycle up and running. We didn't get as much done today as I was hoping. I was hoping we were going to have more done by now. My plan was for us to go and do a purge tier 1 at this point, but... A little distracted with running around. 
always end up being the case. It always does end up being the case. But we're back up to Star Metal. Uh, I'll stash Star Metal this time. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll stash some Star Metal this time. Make sure we don't lose it. But... We now have Star Metal. We now have some heat efficient furnaces that are really uh, blasting out the speed. We've gotten ourselves upgraded a lot on furnaces, which has been a real... Uh, a real bottleneck for our production speed has been furnace production, both in the bricks as well as the steel. We're completely caught up on tar at this point, which is amazing. So right now it's just production speed. So if we can get ourselves a couple of helpers, speed that up, that'd be great. And then we can get right back onto the building of our amazing castle. I really want to get that bar up and running, too. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to go out in the world and collect other than thralls and brimstone. We should do a crystal run. We should do a run for crystal. I think when we do a run for crystal, I'll actually do that when we're corrupted, so we can just go ahead and use the harvest ability. We can just do, uh, like, the natural harvest. Just a one and done. I think is what we'll probably do. So we can hold off on that, because we don't need crystal until we're raiding. We're probably not going to raid for another two days. If we don't get raided, or if we get raided and my stash is safe, then tomorrow we should be able to get all of the basic building done that we need. We should be done by the end of tomorrow with all the basic building. At the very least, if not the full build of the castle. I'm not quite too sure. We might be able to get the whole build done. Uh, tomorrow, and then that would mean Thursday would be fighting the Purge, and, well, I guess we'd be doing raids and then fighting the Purge, uh, tier, ideally, like, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'd want to, I want to try against a tier 10 Purge. Want to see if interact? What? Genius plan. If it is buried in the northernmost pillar... Opposite the river. I don't think I've ever found this. The skull of a mammoth. Smash it. The only way. I don't think I've ever found that before. Okay. What's this reads? It is buried in something pillar opposite the river, beneath the skull of a mammoth. Smash it. Hmm. Actually, it's more information with the voiceover than it is with the the text that's on there. Hey, ma'am, are you any good? And the Reaver. You can take Anna. Anna, come here. She's technically a tier four. She's a bottom tier tier four. But she's still technically a tier four. Curse you. We used her before. We're just gonna eat the damage. It's fine. I just want to save my stamina for swings. Can't climb now, but that's fine. You just run the normal way. Don't have to climb. We heat up. Yeah, over here is where we were looking at the torturous bench before. Grab this iron while we're here. Doesn't hurt to pick it. A little bit of iron here and there. Just scattered within this region. It's not any real big iron deposits around here. Just to get you your basic iron tools, really. Okay. We get all the way around. 
We'll go ahead and we'll we'll probably just put her down on the ground unconscious outside of the build zone. Actually, speaking of which, we're going to need a bunch of wood. Because uh, we're playing with flotsam over there. Pretty good. We need a little stone. Perfect. Off we go. Because we're going to need to essentially... I think we're going to have to expand the base by one size. We're just going to demolish everything and rebuild it, really. I, don't th I mean, we've, we've already rebuilt it once, and it's kind of, like, moderately damaged. We'll probably turn this into a proper outpost at some point, but it's fine. Hey, this is my iron region we're talking about. I'll have you know. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so spoiled with the uh, that Iron Peninsula next to um, was it something point. What was it called? Lookout point. Oh my goodness, that peninsula has so much iron in it. I'm just so spoiled, critter. I'm an absolutely spoiled brat when it comes to iron. So much. Everything else just looks pitiful in comparison. A sad amount. I have to be very careful about how I swing, because, um... Actually, we can just leave her there. Because we'll one-shot her. If we, uh, if we do this incorrectly. Easily one-shot her. Okay. Is this the right size, or is this too small? Is the real question I need to answer. This is the right size. Ah, perfect. Okay. I'll just clear out the stairs. Yeah. There's no person in here. Oh, before we do that, I don't have any. I don't. I didn't pick up any yellow lotus on the way. Ah, uh, mistakes were made. everything up. On the ceiling. To be able to place it from down here. Place it down here from up up top. Nope. Oh. No. Oh. What do you mean? I definitely climbed out. What are you talking about? Fall back down. Game. <laughs> We just need to... Where's the door? There's the door. Bam. Perfect. And enclosed. And we can go ahead and go back to you and storage. Oh, because I picked it up instead of. Ah, that's fine. Let's put a little wood chest here. Lock that bad boy up. Put these in here. Need some kind of little furnace. Can I still make the. I can't. Oh, I can make plenty of them. I don't know if they'll fit here, though, because of the size. On how it works, yeah, I don't think so. So we'll just make it a, a tiny campfire. There we go. Alright, Anna. Let's get you out of the sun before you get a sunburn here. Eh, her head's in the shade, it's fine. He's tanning. Alright, get to work. Yeah, essentially, if we upgrade this to Tier 2 or Tier 3, and then we put a transitory stone above, we can just teleport here whenever we want to go and pick up our thralls. Which should be really nice. This bank. 
Step back. Rest can wait here, just so we're not encumbered. Alright, cool. Let's go get our brimstone. Let's go see if there's anyone we want to grab. We can get them all trained up in here. Now we have a good setup. Same footprints. Just there's no crafting tables in there anymore. Can you train more than one thrall at the time of the bigger wheel? Yes. So this wheel lets us do four. It doesn't make it any faster. It just lets you do more. So uh, the, the tier one thrall wheel lets you do one. The tier two lets you do four. And the tier three lets you do eight at a time. So we can find three more people. Any three, not in exile. Blacksmith, armor tier one, I'll take it. Smelter tier two, I'll take him. You guys are fine by me. A smelter, I was just talking about how a smelter would be kind of nice. We're not going to be super picky right now. Gods take you. Okay. These guys are knocked out. We'll come back to you later. Don't you die on me. Just chill out there. Exile and exile. We're in the middle of a sandstorm, but we're inside. Wait, no, we're taking sandstorm damage? We're inside? Uh, I guess because of that. Maybe? I don't know. Weird. I thought we, because we're inside a cave, we wouldn't be getting sandstorms, but I guess that's too open there with that uh, open window. That open door up there. Right, Smearing Exile. Nope. Smelter 2. I'll take a smelter. Blacksmith 2. Ooh, that's better than the Blacksmith 1. We're just, we're just shopping right now. We're just shopping. Someone's coming. The Blacksmith 2 is better than the Blacksmith 1. We got a Dancer 1. A Dancer 2 is better than a Dancer 1. I'm thinking we want more than one Dancer, though. A Fighter, a Carpenter, and a Priest. And a Priest, Carpenter, you're just an Exile. You're just an Exile. All right, so we get to pick three. So I'm thinking the blacksmith two, the smelter two, and maybe the carpenter. And we skip the dancer for the moment. Dancer would be nice, but I think getting things to improve the rate at which we're completing our stuff would be the way to go. Hello. Bye. Keep looting them, there's like no need. They don't carry anything nice. Bone arrows. Alright. Come with me. Yeah, we'll get this blacksmith two and the smelter two. The blacksmith will help us with making better gear so we can make a second round of weapons, which will give us a plus two damage to our axe if we want to. And the smelter is going to make it so we can get our job done faster. And this carpenter will help out with um, making the shaped wood. So we'll take her. Of course, we'll let her go as soon as we find someone better. Because she's at tier one. But Tier ones are trained in, what, 15 minutes? 20 minutes? Good to go. What happened to guaranteed tier four in there? Uh, did they change that? It's not guaranteed, but it's a very, very high light. Very high likelihood. Why was there dry wood lying around? I'll take it. Yeah, so this is a tier four, and you can see she's already got a, a good little nubbin on her, uh, her production wheel. It takes less than an hour to train anyone now. It's crazy. I still, I still have the mindset of it's going to take us 25 hours to train a tier 4. So it was before the age of war. Back in the age of sorcery and prior to the age of ages. 
prior to patch 3.0. That's just just how it was. 25 hours to train a tier 4. I'm st I still have that mindset of being like, oh, there we go. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, they're there. Yeah, smelter. Who's this? Next L2. Don't you hit my smelter. Smelter 2. Got him. We just need to go get that blacksmith and we're good to go. Then we can come back in here, purge whoever's still lying around, and get all of our brimstone. I guess he thought it was uh, guaranteed because you never had it not be a tier four or a high priest in there. Well, it's a it's a high priest of Mitra, but we don't need a priest of Mitra. I mean, we could use a priest of Mitra. We do need to get a Mitra shrine going at some point here. We do need a shrine to Mitra. I want to get a shrine to Mitra tier two so we can go ahead and make all of the fountains. We're going to need a couple of fa fountains of the nice Mitra fountains for the castle design. Also, so we have water. Kind of like having to carry a water skin. That'd be nice. I mean, technically, you could build higher and drop another wheel. True, we could just drop another wheel if we want. I didn't bring in the materials required to make another wheel, but we can do that. The thing is, I don't expect this place to generate more than one guy that we're going to really want at a time. That's the armor. If we don't... Realistically, we're just going to wait until we get a tier 3 armor or better. Cancer... Blacksmith. Tier 2 Blacksmith, let's go. Uh, exile, uh, I need you to go away. Just in case someone better spawns in your place. Just in case you can get someone better. Perfect. Oop. Getting caught. Alright, let's drop them off. I just want to make sure they don't end up waking up and get them working as soon as possible on the wheel. Prior to me starting to go and clear out all the brimstone. Now, the nice thing is... If we go and we check other locations, in 20 minutes we should have a look, uh, spot open on the wheel from one of the tier 1s. And the tier 1 carpenter should be done in like 20 minutes. Blacksmith 2 getting smacked in the face. Also Blacksmith 2. <laughs> Someone's going, I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, Longfly, this is always hysterical. It's, I've heard something, like as I'm stabbing him in the back. Like, you sure? The very first time you went to that cave, all the other guys in there were tier 1 or 2, and there was a high-level Priest of Mitra, making you feel very bad about murdering the whole lot of them. Yeah. Well, I just, yeah, it's like, I just wanted to see who was in there. And you ended up murdering them all. Turns out it's like a, um... Uh, it's like a, a secret, secret religion. People following Mitra because they've been ostracized throughout the rest of the Exiled Lands, which is not the case because they're building that that monument to Mitra. Not any others? Oh yeah, I've seen a handful of those fuzzy wuzzy. Yeah, they're good. Let's grab this. Give me all of your brimstone. There's a lot of brimstone in here that I saw when we were running around knocking people out. Dancer 2. Yeah, we could we could go for a Dancer 2, but... We're just going to clear them out. Okay, perfect. So we've got a good number here. We're over 3k. Excellent. Oh, there's still some here. My bad. Oh, we got them all. You thought they were all reformed exiles? <laughs> yeah, that would make me feel pretty bad if I came in here the first time, find a Mitra priest, and be like, oh no! Great.
Just like kill him by cutting him with uh cutting his skin off. What do we got, John? Yeah. Better. It's nice. I'll take this. We need all the hide we can get, just so we can keep up with the tar production. Wait, this is a second smelter too. You come with me. I'm glad we checked. We need this guy. That carpenter is getting chucked out of the wheel. Carpenter is a low priority. Smelters, a moderate to high priority. Because we're waiting on our smelters to be able to make any production. Uh, or to actually build up the castle. The smelters are higher priority. We're going to go ahead and dump out the carpenter. Which, unfortunately, I, she just disappears into the ether. So I think she gets um, sacrificed to the abyss. I, I'm not too sure how it works. But uh, she doesn't exist anymore, so... Only guess. Drop you. Carpenter. Gone. Gonna rubber banding a bit. Alright. So we now have Anna the Reaver, we've got a Shemite Smelter 2, we've got a Nordheimer Smelter 2, and we've got a Nordheimer Blacksmith 2. Perfect. Anything else we need to check around here before we head back? You guys are just exiles, right? Eh, there's an armor gun. And a regular exile. Really anything worth, honestly. Where the other guy's body went, but I'm like right here. Oh, there it is. Wait, what? Some Apollonian sandals? I will take those. Cool. You know what? While we're here, let's get some coal. Let's get some coal while we're here. That's that's a beneficial thing for us to go nab. We're in a pretty coal rich area over here. And we're in a very core coal poor area where we live in. So this would be good to bring back. So we don't have to worry about it. I think a stack of coal is like five hours of burn time on the fast one. On the heat efficient furnace, I think it's like five hours. For a stack for 1k. Something near. Grab a bunch of this. We're down there too. Perfect. These two. I might have to fight the spider. Hopefully not. Really get anything out of it. Don't you do it, Mr. Spider. Ah, oh, perfect. Let's see more. You know, I could have also grabbed some you know, if we do another if we run to the other brimstone location. The <laughs> place that we're commonly running around at. There's coal there too. Grab that coal as well. You're very noisy, lady. Ow! Don't you, don't you shoot me. Monster. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, there's just so much coal in this zone. This will power us for a while. So the main thing is, do we want to stick around here for a little bit so we can go ahead and bring all of our thralls back with us, or do we want to head back with what we got now? We'll still need to take stuff out of that box, of course, that we had. More? Nearly 6k coal. Very nice. I should have it set for a while. Can I run up this? I feel like I can. 
should be a little more coal up here we can grab. Circle back around. 6k! Alright. What are you doing up here? You're like very far away from water. Pocket Island up here? What are you doing? Oh, my water skin's in the chest. <laughs> Well, we're gonna be thirsty till we get back. Perfect. Was there any others? Nope. Okay, we're good. Back we go. One big perfect circle. Yeah, right? Yeah. Must have. Huh. This is why I normally try and have it set up where we don't need to rely on water skins, because... Goodness. Last into the water. Let's just climb up. Make life easy. Don't have to go all the way around. Though, if we start taking damage from thirst, we'll have to go all the way around. <laughs> we just phase through the ground. Don't mind me. Huh. They're all still working. It's gonna be a bit before they're ready. There's my warp skin. Pull up. You go and cook some extra rule from them for them. I think there's enough though. Yeah, there's enough rule in here. And we're about 30 minutes out from these being done. Oh, I'm really on the fence about sticking around. There's not much more for us to do in this zone though. We really should head back. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to go blow up Cowboy Bebop. They've got a we got a chest lying around. Yeah, let's head back home. We can pick up these thralls later. Pick them up another time. This is when we need to get the transitory stone online as soon as we can. So we're gonna have to start working on sorcery soon. We'll get all this going, and then I think sorcery's our next target. We've got three sorcery scrolls right now. We only need four, so we're only off by one. We have to go to the unnamed city and go fight some dragons. We need to get some dragons. So, hmm. We have the dragon horn, and then after we get dragon horn, do we need desert berry seeds by any chance? There we go. Let's start getting a couple, let's get like two berry bushes growing. Uh, once we get, so we need to go and get the dragon horn. I'm trying to remember, Dragon Horns, Black Blood, that's what it is. Dragon Horns, Fragments of Power, Black Blood, and Glowing Goop. All the things we need, because I think we already learned the dregs. Yeah. Dredger. So we're good to go. So we just need to get the Glowing Goop, which we can easily grab. There's a Glowing Goop spot right here. And we're over here, so we can just run all the way up to um, this spot if we have problems, or this spot if we have problems. Both of those, we can go ahead and grab a whole bunch of it. I'm not worried. Let's grab as much iron as we can on the way. Let's swing by the Iron Peninsula and grab all the iron there. The reason being is that we want to get the furnaces as chock full of iron production as we can. So that hopefully we can get a bunch of it going while we're offline. And I can go and stash a bunch of it. Just try and warp speed the production. This is not the most riveting thing to watch. It's a lot of time. Okay. Let's get up here. And then we'll get back down to home. And then... 
And honestly, once we get back home, we can turn back around and pick up our thralls. The amount of time it's going to take. But if we get back home, organize all of our loot, and get the uh, production up and running, get the furnaces going and everything, by the time we're done with that, we can actually come back here and pick up our thralls. We can just do a big old circle. There's also the Glowing Goop and Hanuman's Grotto. Oh, you're right! There is a bunch of Glowing Goop and Hanuman's Grotto. Yeah. Let's get some more shaped wood going. Come on, trees. Let's get some more Glowing Goop. Also, ooh, you know what? I miss... Yeah, I, I miscounted. We're going to need a lot more fiber for us to stay on top of the the stone consolidate that we need. I completely miscounted how much we needed. So I was thinking just from the vines that we had was going to be fine, but we blasted through all that. I'm thinking about that right now. We only have three left in the tanner's table. So we're going to need to go and make a sickle, which is fine. I was just trying to avoid having to make them. I have another tool lying around. All right. Let's get over here. It's been about... We're going to have to go check and see if Rockbox stuff's here, still here. Also, Bagman. We haven't checked there. Or Pika. Oh, yeah, that's right. Elmo lived here. We have to do some serious scouting. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. The altar was at. That's, um... Uh... Shaw? I think it was? Not online. But I think it was Shaw. Oh, they got a cute little heart in her name. Yeah, I think, I think that, was, that was Shaw over there. I'll have to go check that one. But they've got a... They've got a tier 3 altar that's dangerous. Luckily, none of our stuff is worth using a god on. Literally, the only thing you need to do to get all of our goodies is... What? 10 explosive jars? One for the wall to get inside... And then three on each of our chest clumps, clumps of iron chests. Yeah, I only need ten explosives. We could essentially make that much right now if we wanted. We just need to get another five, uh, well, six demon blood. All right, buddy. <laughs> Sit down, you. What do we have? Ahoy there! A tanner. An archer. You're always an archer. You're sometimes not a tanner. What is this? Iron pike. Which notes? A little pickier with the stuff that we pick up. Only stuff that's like worth uh, either using or worth breaking down into parts and pieces. Ooh, I'll take those. I'll take the bed fiber. I'll, I'll actually take the bed because I get some fiber. Worth it. We got some more lamps. There she goes. That's pretty worth it. There we go. Alright, we'll grab this iron and get back home. Fill everything up nice and full. You, there we go. Okay, so iron isn't going to be too much of an issue. We definitely still need more stone, so we'll pick up more stone over here, too. Might as well. Doesn't hurt to do so. Actually, while we're here, too, we can go grab that last sorcerer. Nah, it's fine. It's one sorcerer skull, scroll. It, we can pick that up literally whenever we need to. Whenever we're running past uh, Harmon's Birth or the, the other place to go get a brimstone at. Whatever that one's called. Whenever we're running through, we can go ahead and nab him. We don't have to grab it right now. A little too off the beaten path where I want to go. 
<gasps> Holy hell, hello? <laughs> Game? I was struggling with climbing up that cliff. I don't know what that was about. Alright, we're done. At least up here. So grab the last bit below. Head on home. What is that noise? <laughs> it was like the very start of the falling sound. Oh my goodness, we're uh Oh my wow, we got 10k? Jeez, there's just so much iron here, it's insane. We're really playing with the audio files today, huh? We almost have 11,000 iron. Wow! That's around 5.5 thousand iron right there. Once again, into bars, because it's 2 to 1. That's huge. Alright, that'll keep our furnaces busy for quite some time. So we should have, if we don't get raided, mind you, if we don't get raided, we should have everything we need tomorrow to just go crazy with building. You just pick up a little more iron, a little more stone at the beginning of the stream to get everything running again. Just essentially turn everything on. Go from there. Yeah, this doesn't look the same as I remember. Call it out. This guy. Looks like Bagman's base is gone. Which can make sense. It's been three weeks. Three weeks. All right, so we can go ahead and get rid of Bagman's base. It gets us a marker back. Those things are... They're not a dime a dozen, that is for sure. Those things are rare. I think you only get, like, what, 100 of them? 50 of them? I need, like, 200, 300 markers, to be honest. Like, I need I need so many markers. So many more markers. All right. Heading home. Get back, get everything set up, and then we can think about grabbing our thralls. Let's see, is there anything else that we need to keep in mind that I might be overlooking? We've got... R isn't really a constraint right now. The main constraint was iron, and so now the main constraint is production speed. We're working on thralls to go and sort out the production speed, as well as we've upgraded to the tier 3 smelters. So we're like really kicking them into high gear here. The tanners were still playing with their tier 1, and the pauldrons are playing with their still tier 2. So we can try and upgrade those. Get going from there. How's it going, Nightclub Games? How are you doing today? Welcome. Hopefully you're having an amazing morning, evening, or night, wherever you are. Ah, oh, I'm almost out of tea. This is my entire pot of tea. Delicious. Pretty good? Excellent. Alright. Slide on through. I cannot wait to blow these all up. Actually, what's the decay timer on them? They almost done. Where are we at with that? Yikes, it's still a good number of days. It's about four days out for those disappear. So we might be blowing them up in a day or two. I've blown them up in a day or two here. All right, home sweet home. We made it. So much to unpack and unload. All right, perfect. So this actually didn't finish. That's good. And are you running coal right now? You are, so let's go top you off with coal. It's only two hours! Oh my gracious, these things burn too so much. I thought it was more. Have you finished? Do a stack of coal for your two hours. Let's go ahead and stop you, run you for your 13 hours. Did you actually run out of wood? Okay, grab your wood. Pull. 
this wood, coal, and you guys have been working on uh, branches. Pop you off on branches here. For the power of branches, you shall burn this place down. Branches. Perfect. Normally don't see many people advertising the official uh, PvP. Yeah. Why no kiln? Don't have the don't have the knowledge yet. We haven't gone and picked up the kiln. We haven't been to the unnamed city yet. We need a lot more stone. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't we haven't ventured to the unnamed city yet. Wow, there's no stone. Okay, we need to go get some more stone. Uh, but we're running with the heat efficient furnaces in the meantime. So that means that our limitation is our consolidated. Get that sorted. And you're just producing flat out iron, which is grand, and I appreciate it. But that's not your job anymore. Your, your job is to go ahead and steel fire this up like crazy. Let's go ahead and get the steel fire going for you. Your job is just making steel right now, buddy. Slam that out. You just get 1,000 iron to play with. You get the rest. Do way faster. I'll take this, you get two. I'll take this, you get two. I'll take that, you get two of these. Oop, I said two. There you go. Done yet. Two of these. You get a spare. There's that iron. It's still not enough. Even with that much. We'll even give you the iron stone then. We'll have you iron stone through it. And we'll give you all the spare coal to keep that up. So we'll make a thousand. It's not quite. <laughs> is that all of it? But it is all of it. So actually that's not a limiting factor. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Stone consolidate, excellent. Dropped off in here. Getting sorted. Now have the brimstone we need so this can actually keep up. You're running out of brimstone. Or we ran out of brimstone. Nope, steel fire, steel fire. Okay, so now tar is a limiting factor there. Perfect, as it should be. Put wooden here for the moment. Actually, no, we want to make more shaped wood. We need to upgrade this at some point, but still, it's fine as is. Those branches are actually supposed to be used for burning. And we've got the we've got the arrows now, so we're good. You. 200 on you. Oh, come on now. 200 on you. And we'll get the leftovers on you. We could spread it out to make it even more even, but that's fine. What do we have next? Human flesh. Let's clear out the human flesh. Press all this. Use the blood eventually, I'm sure. Oh, hang on a second. Can I actually interact with this now? Yeah, I can. Nice. I can't put anything in it, but it's fine. Interact with it. That's what matters. Goes off. Flesh in here. Go and break down you. Break down you. Break down you. And you. We're going to hold on to this. Hold on to the bow. Help us can go. Call these guys down. Notes. Hold on to for now. Oops, there's a little extra brimstone on us. Mm. Oh, carry that. Okay. Bench. Start from the back. 
talk you off first. And we'll give you one in some. Take this, talk you off next. Two. The hyena hides. Talk you off as well. You only play with the thick hides and you're still running right now. Good. Did I not take the power out of this guy? No, I did. And for you, we'll give you another two. Three. Or that. Alright, let's finish it. Ooh, jeez. Hello. Finish emptying our inventory. Down the rest. We've already got one tiger trophy, so we'll go and break that down. Let's. Uh, let's see here. Thanks. Can we keep one of the trophies for the tavern? Nah, we've already got those. I mean, it would only go into the salamander trophies, but that's fine. I don't really want them. We can always get them again later if we choose. Branches are burnables. And with this dread wood. There's more tar. Get to work. We're not going to deal with these wraps anymore. They're too low tier. We can drop this off. I can't use it. You off. Perhaps top you off. Go. Nope. Resin. Go. Nope. Black ice in the black ice chest. And steel. Wine. Bigger items. Go. Nope. Google chest. Drop the old bow. Take the new one. Actually, might as well see if we can get anything out of it. Well, there isn't here. Uh, take this extra hide. Pop these off in here for now. Okay, perfect. Inventory cleared. This furnace is churning. Okay, we've got over a thousand now. It's huge. We're not making any of the steel yet, but this guy's going to be running for the next four hours, so we'll be caught up on that soon. Steel's doing well. Pop that off and get this rolling. Don't quite have a stack, so the steel reinforcements are starting to fall behind in production. What? Oh, warping everywhere. Good gracious. That's starting to fall behind in production, but that's to be expected. All right, stone's next. Let's get back on stone. Stone production is next. Why am I going for wood? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. We need stone. Ideally, we get a couple thousand. Tens of thousand. Hello? Being attacked? I could have sworn I heard the rhino coming at me. Alright, let's get a whole bunch of stone here. Because we want to just fill up those three furnaces as much as we can. Because if we can have those three slow furnaces working on just brick production, and we have the uh, big old heat efficient furnace working on the hardened brick production, and then we have the other one working on steel production, ideally exclusively. Currently we have it doing both steel and iron, but that's because I'm not expecting it to be the one that's going to be outputting what we need before the end of the stream here. I don't have that much time. 
But at least that way it'll have four hours where it can just, you know, autopilot. I actually grabbed... I might actually steal the coal from one of the other guys so it can run longer. I don't know if it's going to get that done. Well, it should get it done in four hours. I think what I put in there will take an hour for it to complete. Okay, we gotta get we gotta get all this so we can start doing some serious building. Right now we've just added some foundations for the basic floor plan. That's that's not helpful at all. What we need is to get to the point where we can actually make walls and ceilings. So once we can get the the like true floor plan over here. Like right, check this. Rhino, stop it. They were there. Once we get this true floor plan here, because we'll have it like essentially we'll just leave this into the wall and we'll have it come out here. And so it'll be kind of squarish. But what we can do is since it's not going to be attached to the ground here, we can round out the front of the castle with stairs coming down with a rounded out front. And then hopefully we have it like that and then maybe like a pathway that then connects here. We have the pathway kind of come up and then have like an upper like an upper courtyard space where we like level like we need a bunch of these to do that we'll have a lower courtyard down here there might be almost no grass visible except like this patch right here we might just have it so that we have this nice little grass spot here and that's it get some thralls out here training or at least visually using the uh the emote to train you don't even know where it is Isk. no clue I think, I'm pretty sure this is a training one, right? Not conversation. Light clap. Um, sitting, resting, taunt, celebrate, dance, flirt, worship, yawn. Taunt? I feel like there is one. Maybe not. Or maybe we haven't found it yet. I don't know. We'll take a look. Maybe the baby rhino had some aggressive thoughts as you're running past it, and I was just picking up on those aggressive thoughts. Maybe I felt the the instinct to kill. Do you need to have your weapon in hand for the emote? Oh, maybe. And I only get flourish. Can't do that in this state, really. Oh, you have to be standing still like this. No. All right, well, uh, or or not, or or you can't. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Either way, we'll figure it out. But yeah, we can get some like thralls out there and have them emoting, doing something, doing some sort of action to make it look cool. But then we end up having like three floors, three levels. So we'd have the bottom, or actually, I guess we have four. We'd have the entryway and bar, right? And we'd have the next floor, which would be the same as the wall so we'd have the upper level which would be the castle and the wall so we have the lower level which is the gate level gatehouse level we'd have the castle level which again the castle is going to come out to probably around here and then we'll have the top level here which would be the wizard tower sorcerer tower yes the sorcery that'll be good So that's what I want to do. And I think we can get the entire castle floor plan done tomorrow, including walls and ceilings of floor one. While still going out and working on sorcery. Because as soon as we get the transitory stone online, then we can go and pick up thralls with ease. So I would very much like to go get that stone running. The transitory stone is going to be so nice. And again, cleaning up this part of the wall is not happening for a long time. It's honestly like a last bit of the priority is cleaning this up to make it look nice. Literal bottom priority. So that's not going to happen probably until like next week. Because we need to go and get our fancy throne room. We need to get the, um, the treasure room going. 
I'm on the fence if I want to bring production inside or not. We probably will bring production inside eventually, but again, it is going to open us up to raiding if we do that. We might leave production where it is currently. Awkwardly outside here. Just in the big old square. We could upgrade it to something sturdier if we wanted to, but leave it a sandstone for now. Hopefully attract less attention, but if anyone pokes their head in here, you can clearly see we're doing some serious work. We're getting some serious work done in here. Flammables in here, including the branches. And drop off the pork. Set that, and then is there any space in here for, yeah, we can that. It's prepped and ready. Resin. So much resin. Stone could solve it. There are 150. Yeah, so we're just churning this out like crazy now. This is great. You're out of stone to work with. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why we went for stone. Alright. Row and a half. Little, give you more rest. Those branches reset you for three hours. Reset you, well, actually, I guess it's four hours. Three hours and 50 minutes. Perfect. Nice. Steel, 33 steel. We're actually gonna stop doing that now. Have these guys work on the the rest of the iron. We'll get him just churning out the steel. Might not be the best way to go, but not enough. Not enough to keep up, but it's still worth doing. This we can go ahead and get more steel reinforcements. But I think we're once we do this one run of steel reinforcements through this furnace here, once we get the thousand steel reinforcements, I think we're more or less done with steel reinforcements. It's what six per. So, no, actually, uh, still only like what two hundred building pieces. We're still gonna need a bit more. Never mind. But we're gonna have to go ahead and end the stream here today. We're gonna end it here. What I'll do is right before raid window tomorrow. I'll go ahead and stash everything in... I don't know if I'll put it in the same place. That was kind of far. Makes me feel nervous running back with all that stuff. But I'll go ahead and I'll stash all the, uh, all the building materials. There's not really much else in here that we care too much about other than the star metal to rebuild our items. Uh, our, like, tools and then the actual building materials themselves. Everything else in here is pretty low value at the moment. So I'll go ahead and I'll stash that stuff. And then we'll get on to building tomorrow. That'll be good. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.